Good morning. Welcome to Hangout and Art. If you're watching the recording, it's a live stream with people in the audience. That's who we're talking about. Um, basically, we share ideas, um, new products, or if we find new artists that we like. But the, uh, most of all, we hope we give each other inspiration. <clears throat> so welcome the day after the eclipse. How is everybody today and who who is in the path? Good morning, everyone. Hi, hi, Starflower, Peggy. Hey, Peggy's Lisa. back. Hey, Starflower, welcome. I don't see Starflower, but I see everyone saying hi. Oh, I see her now. Okay. Yeah. Dar, good morning. Hi, Tori. Good to see everybody this morning. Okay, so here's, I mean, this is, it's really rare to be like in total eclipse. And I guess uh, my daughter was watching from Sweden and um, they were watching it on TV because obviously nothing happened there. The next time they're going to have a total eclipse is 2146, I think she said. Oh my God. Like over a hundred years. And then on the other end of it, Patty Marshall was in Dallas, and I got text from her um, with pictures of like champagne, and she was outside. Um, there was total eclipse in, in Dallas, but it was her and her husband's anniversary, and it was the second time I guess she had seen a total eclipse. So oh, it just man. you know, wherever wherever you happen to be. That's so neat. Yeah. Yes. Something uh, everyone around the world was experiencing. And it, since it was such a large area this time, you know, they got to see it. Um, my daughter went up to Ohio and where it was totality. We had like, I think I thought it was 99 and a half, like 99%, I think. Yeah, but we were, like, we were 98.6 because I remember because that's what your temperature should be. And you would think like, the 1% wouldn't make a difference, but after seeing like my daughter's, uh, the videos where it was literally like midnight and we still, it's, it was not that dark here. That's so like it, that 1% can make it to where it looks like, you know, maybe eight, eight, eight o'clock now, eight thirty Eastern. And then, you know I mean? Where it looked like it was like midnight. I mean, right. it just, total blackness and uh yeah that was really neat they took some drone footage uh, one guy has like a telescope with like cameras and you know video and all that hooked up and some of our friends so that was that was pretty cool tom worked kim worked uh everyone uh, was um out watching it that was working he said <laughs> so, he said they were out on the rooftops and everywhere else. So, yeah, so everybody was out watching it while, you know, while working. <laughs> yeah, it was, it's amazing. And when you think like how rare it is and how I far can't... the sun is in the moon, like for that to even happen, I don't know. It just makes you think, you know, oh, it was kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's only 23%, Devin. Well, you know, in Niagara Falls, they had total blackout because I had some friends, uh, a friend that from Jazzercise went there with her family uh, to Niagara Falls. They had total blackout in Niagara Falls. So I guess it depends where you're at in Canada. I know. And we were, um, we had planned, we were going to drive down to Ohio, but then it had looked um, it like cloudy it was originally. Yeah, it was going to be cloudy and everything. So Doug's like, oh, we probably won't go. So he planned on working. But then I guess it, you know, it was a beautiful day for it. And just the difference between an hour and a half away, you know, it's total black and we still have just dusk. I mean, it's just amazing. It is. It really is. I mean, it ain't, when it was dusk, the people's lamp lights were coming on, their, you know, sensors. You can feel the, you know, um, the breeze. It was cool. It was just, yeah. Smokey knew something was happening. Bandit had no clue. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> yeah, Jack and Ziggy were, they were outside, just they sat with us, like they weren't running around or anything, but um, yeah, it was kind of neat. And I was telling Colleen and Eileen, we did see, um, we saw a few rabbits running like through our backyard, like thinking it was nighttime, you know, that they better head back because we have a lot of coyotes that are around lately. So we did see a few rabbits, which we never see rabbits during the day. No, the another thing I noticed was the birds were just got really were just gradually getting more quiet and more quiet as it was getting dark, and they just stopped chirping. And as the and it took a little bit before you know it started getting brighter that I started hearing some chirping, and then it was just like chirp, 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 chirp. like it was like it's morning, you know what I mean. <laughs> I know, and it did take a while because I ended up taking the taking Ziggy for a walk afterwards, and the, I, it was just so quiet. It was just really quiet outside. It was kind of cool. I wish it was quiet here. My neighbors were out, so it was not quiet here. <laughs> boom, 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 playing basketball and all this stuff. They couldn't oh, get the kids, kids had to to well, for yeah. five minutes. The kids had no. Kids were off school had zero appreciation for it. Zero. Yeah, we were lucky because the kids, um, our kids were in school. So um, yeah, we were not lucky enough. And we then come 3.30 though, that's the typical. It, it but, livens up uh, around here. The parents, you know, just don't discipline their kids here. So what is the... Right. So Peggy uh, said, Peggy said this is her second time seeing a total eclipse. Well, in 2017, we had one. Yeah, but just to be, to, did you see it? I, we, we didn't yeah, see it. Yeah, I did. It was total? I don't know if it was total clip, so. Yeah. I, she that I, don't, I, that I'm not, I don't think, it might have been like it was this time. I don't think it was a total eclipse. I'll have to look and see. I know it was an eclipse, but I don't know if it's a total eclipse. Yeah, because it was like, to this be was not. Yeah, to be in a total eclipse, because I saw in 1999, there was one in Europe, and I saw like 98% or something like that. But um, I've never, I'd love to see it as a total eclipse, just to see how dark it got. Yep, there's another one in 2044. Hopefully, I don't know if I'll be here. I hope we're here. Gonna be old, but we'll hopefully be here. I hope, yeah, yeah, I'll be here. We'll be here. Let's be positive. Let's be positive. 2017 was a total eclipse. Why don't I remember that? Yeah, I thought it was. We might not have been in it. The, yeah, I, I say I have the t shirts, and I know Paco was out with me. He was still alive. And yeah, the dogs were, you know, were four. Now they're 10. Huh. I'm trying to think. I don't I know. I sat out in the yard with my neighbors, took a bunch of photos. I was by myself, though. I only just took a photo of me and the glasses, but I didn't really post anything. It must have been. We may, we must not have been in the path. It must have been more down. But Peggy, yeah, it just depends what angle it goes. It was a smaller region. I know um, my daughter's husband and friends went to Tennessee to see it. Okay, so it was it was a different mm -hmm. path. Now, what I thought was cool watching it on TV was seeing all the flares coming out from the sun and everything. I thought that was neat. I, I was watching like. Uh, I like watching the TV coverage of it happening in different places. Mexico and Texas, and yeah, it was neat. Oh, that's funny. Tori said she was pregnant with a twin. She took a video so they she could show them when they grew up. She told them last night, couldn't couldn't have been less interested. <laughs> I know, typical kids. Yeah, the kids around here could care to less. Could care to less. And the parents weren't doing anything to make it us enjoy it. Uh, I should have so been in a fun event and people were like, woohoo, you know. Uh, <laughs> okay, so what do you got a new coloring book? That looks cool, Colleen. It's not new. Oh. Um, but I've been uh cleaning and organizing. Oh, shopping in your stash. 
And this book was enabled by Jean a long oh. time ago. And I worked in a couple pages with Kathy Arbor. She used um, a page in here for um, to kind of learn how to do shading with you know black and white oh, just cool. with a pencil. So why I pulled this out was since we were doing the girls on the brick walls for the graffiti book, mm -hmm. when I, I was going through and organizing, there are so many good pictures in here to use on the jelly plate for that technique. Oh, that's good. I was thinking too, it's probably good for the 70s uh, journal. Yes, both for the 70s journal, for the jelly plate technique that we were doing. There's so many fun images in here. Here's me and my birds. Bird -bird. <laughs> that is you. <laughs> that's funny. And I was like, I've kind of like here, here's like a girl with the headband on. Uh -huh. mooching with their man um yeah this was one of them so kathy arbor did like a, a worked out this book here it was december 8 2015 she did this cool. and she and this was supposed to be the light was coming from this direction that's why i like this arrow and okay. then you know, work with, I don't remember if it was charcoal or a regular pencil and then erasing it and things like that. So she did a like play along in the book of how to just use pencil and just shading. And uh, so that's 2015. I'm glad I dated it because I never remember it. But um, there's a lot of good pictures in here that you could do that jelly plate technique with. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, lots of lots of uh, girls, like you know, Miles. I think some of these are, I guess, uh, London. But like, here's one at the flower market. This one might be good for the uh, you know, summer journal. Oh, garden journal. Uh, yeah. Lori, paint girly. Lori said she has that book. Yeah, it's really. I mean, that's 2015 when I did that with uh, Kathy Arbor. Yeah, and it came out in 2015. So I think there's um, a lot of, of large images that you could use that jelly plate technique with. With and uh, I mean, there's some really cool drawings in here. Mm -hmm. So. I had like here, there's a there's a brick wall, there's a graffiti. This is actually is a graffiti one. Oh, that's one, cool. Yeah, and then she's got like tattoos on her back. Got her what you call it? booth. With a beanie. Yeah. Um so yeah, there's that could be there's an umbrella and a girl if we get a rainy day prompt again. For April, it can go in the spring one. This is London, and you don't have this one. That's cool. Yeah. So uh, this one, I like, I like this one a lot. So I definitely think I'm going to try doing some more of the technique with using these girls. Because, you know, we were using magazines. You could also use coloring books to trace. Right. It could be easier with coloring books because it's just black and white. Yeah, exactly. And this one is just all, it's all people. Like here, this would be another good one. Oh, that would be a good one. Morning, um, everybody who's come in. Johnny, Sherry, Dee Dee. Okay. Hi, Dee Dee. So, yeah. Um, so, I was going through all my stuff, and um, this is one I've gotten rid of most of my coloring books. This is one I always <laughs> kept because. Oh, there's a larger version of that okay. um, because of, of the fact that these girls are in here. I always thought this book was really neat and not that I've colored in it, but I always liked this book. I'm glad I kept it. Like, this would be a good one. Okay. Dee Dee said, I thought I was just going to ask Dee Dee if she had this coloring book because I the pictures look familiar. She said that was one of her first coloring books. Oh, that's interesting. That's one of your first. And like this one I kept because um, I just loved all the girl drawings in it. And uh, 
anyway, so what I forgot to be truthful, I mean, I was going through my coloring books because I don't color. I keep getting rid of more and more every time I do. And, um, and this one I've always held on to because I like it. There you go. Cool. And uh, I always liked it. And now it's like here, this, this book would be great for that jelly plate technique. Mm -hmm. So just so that's why I pulled it out. So anywho, that's that's all. Um, oh, and I did get my catalog. Um, Which I, one? Who showed this? Lynette on our Facebook group. Oh, yeah. Somebody showed that one. But it's a thick one. Oh, nice. I saw the cover, but I didn't realize it was this thick. Oh, that's this cool. I got a catalog. This one's that really, one. this one's thick. Way thicker yeah. than the other ones I have. I have one other thicker one that I got from them. Um, along, I'm good. This is the spring 2024. If you guys want, um, you know, fussy cut, um, uh, fussy cut images. Um, did you get your olive and cocoa catalog? I have to do that every time because I've never ordered, uh, yeah, I haven't ordered from them. But no, I didn't. Not. I got mine. I got mine. And she's already cut it up. Ziggy liked it. Oh. <laughs> Ziggy got into it. I had it on my coffee table. I can't keep stuff on the coffee table. The cover, which is what I usually use. Oh, thanks, Colleen. Yeah. is good but um he got and there's some i'll use this i'm gonna work for spring or garden or whatever there's lots of good flower pictures and stuff but yeah he got um oh this is the one i showed you colleen the the, oh, the cow that was cute oh that's a great daughter would I hate that i love it <laughs> i know that's why i thought you could get it for <laughs> <laughs> So what I'm gonna do though, so these don't um so these don't go to waste. I'm gonna do a spring master board and use um some of the bits and pieces. Like this is perf like this is perfect for a master board, you know, just with all the pretty colors and stuff. But um yeah, that's that's my puppy. That's my puppy. Actually, there's, see, now this is a cool, oh, look at that bird feeder. This is where the, the bird seed is, Colleen. Do you see it? That's a really neat feeder. Isn't that cool? A collab with Ziggy. <laughs> a collab. <laughs> it is a collab with Ziggy. The dog ate my homework. I know. The dog started my master board. So, yeah, so there's some, so I'll salvage some of this. But um, the important part is I, I try to use the, um, the covers in something. Yeah, he's a fussy ripper. <laughs> he, he needs to practice more. A fussy ripper. <laughs> <laughs> he needs a little more practice. Oh, and then I also thought this was kind of cool. That's really good. I know. A fussy ripper. <laughs> um, I guess at first I thought this was an elephant, but it's a rabbit. I just, I don't know. I just thought that was kind of cool. And had he not ripped it up, I don't know if I would have Did noticed. Did he fussy cut out that <laughs> rip out yes. the rabbit for you? Yeah, he must have. Was like, oh, I bet she likes this pillow. I thought that was cool. So yeah, so I'll use this. On a, I'll do a master board with this stuff. So. Um, but yeah, I got my catalog. Well, that's I also nice. got um, Brenda's daughter rescues prepared collage father. She rescues stuff for her. <laughs> nice. I know we have even my husband will be like, Hey, I got this. Do you think you could use it? I'm like, yes. Okay, so I did get one thing. Um, I don't know if anybody noticed that Nicole Watson was the um stencil girl. Uh, oh, I know who she person is. of the month. Yeah, I like I liked her. She's got she has like five minutes something or whatever. I like yes. her. Yes. So I started following her on Instagram. She was having a sale, and she found. I wanted to see what these look like. 
she had a bunch of these um, little ledger things. And it looked like there might be, looked like there might be paper, like a lot of blank sheets in it. So my plan, if the paper is good, is to stop <laughs> like coffee number three. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, just go for it. If you're contemplating, it means you need it. Okay, so it's a little um, ledger. Ledger, I think a uh, a railroad ledger. And I liked, I liked the size. I didn't really have any that were this size. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. And she has a bunch of them. They range in price. I just wanted to see what the paper was like before. Okay, so let's see. I can't tell where it's from. Let me see if I can find a date. Oh, I want my second Dr. Pepper that makes you feel better, Marguerite. <laughs> One of those days. This is mine every day, so I can wake up. Okay, it says, no, okay, maybe, oh, 1901. 1901, so it's over 100 years old. Paper is really nice. And it looks like it's been written in pencil, but little teeny tiny. I mean, it's little writing. But there's lots. What I liked about this one would be a nice sketchbook size, Tori. I agree. I was thinking I might use this for my faces. I think that'd be great for your faces. Face sketching. And look, I mean, there's lots of empty ones. And it'll even be fun. I think what I'll need to do, though, is put like a clear. Well, I might spray some of these. You know, or maybe fix it in. gesso or something. Clear yeah. gesso or maybe try to fix it. You got to do like get it wet or not. Yeah. So, um, so yeah. So I did get that. And her, um, she did send like a little, little thank you stuff. It's um, NicoleWatsonArt.Etsy.com is her Etsy shop. And then she's on oh, Etsy. I follow her on YouTube. Let me look. Yeah, she's on, I saw this on IG and she had a picture like, oh, I think these just dropped in my Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. um, it's a railroad, 1901 railroad inspection log book. Um, this oh, one was 35. What's her first name again? Um, Nicole. Okay. I had to forget that. There, Nicole Watson Art. Nicole Watson. Okay. And they range from like $25 to $45, but the... I, I picked this one because of the amount of blank pages, and she has a video for each one, so you can see what's right, inside of it. Find it. I hate the search engine. I I know, and the um, the paper's really nice. It's nice and thick. So yeah, so go check her out. But I thought it was nice. She sent a little thank you with a uh, little playing card. Uh, Transfer Canada Southern Railway. Oh, thank you, Devin. I was getting ready to put it in. She beat me. <laughs> so yeah, so she sent some uh, some old stock. So it was just nice. It was just nice, and I got it right away, which is always fun. Oh, she's taking a break right now. The the open May first. Okay. Okay. Go back and check her out because so you can sign up to get emailed uh, when she comes back. Yeah. So, but I thought, I just thought these were fun. And I think she had about a dozen of them. So I don't know how many sold, but. Probably, uh, probably all of them. Probably she didn't have any, she might not have anything in her shop. So she took it down too. Yeah, I'm trying to think what was in there. But so check her out. She also has, um, she's the, she's a new designer for Stencil Girl. And she had some cool, um. I thought she, I know I thought I'd seen her doing like some of the, like using them. Maybe she was on the blog, but not. that she was. A designer. You know what I mean? Like she yeah. used her stencils on their blog. Because I think that's how I first found her. Let me look her up. Okay. And then the other thing I did, um, I've been working in my house journal. So I've been able to over. You know what I have a cordless keyboard for? <laughs> <laughs> I know I've done that before. <laughs> I say you say everything being wired, you know, I'm so old timey. 
I'm leaning over and I'm like, what am I doing? Okay, so I have been working in my in my house journal because I can like bring stuff up and work with it upstairs. So I'm gonna do a quick um quick flip oh. and just because I did I've done several pages in it. I've used my art foamy calendar girls and just finished up, you know, did some other pages I've been working on. I did this one I showed it before was just blank. Hey, Devin, Devin's on it. Oh, that's cute. So you did the little house thing. I, love I did the, the little house thing. So I kept, I didn't add a whole bunch here. This was all, um, this is how I had it. It was an old scrap piece of paper. And then I did some collage and I put some, just little house quotes. Home is home, be it ever so humble. Home is the comfiest place to be, Winnie the Pooh. So I just thought that it was fun. And then on the other side, because this was all blank, I just did, hold on. I just did some collage and then I took one quote that I really liked from Jane Austen. There's nothing like staying at home for real comfort. And I just put that across the whole thing. Oh, I like the quote. I love how you collaged it. That's cute. Yeah, it was fun. I just took, I have like a little, a little uh, basket with just tiny scraps. And I just sat and like ripped stuff up and put it in. It was really fun to do. And then this, this old picture was in there. So I'm oh, like, did oh, you get her new stencils? Pardon me? Did you get her new stencils, Nicole? Watson? No, I haven't gotten her new stencils yet. Okay, I'm just glancing through the channel. Those are cute. They're like triangle flowers. That's neat. I know they are cute. They are yeah, cute. They're cute. Thank you, Dar. Okay, so yeah, so I did finish this. So I did work on that. So I'm happy. And then I um I had gotten the calendar girl stamps in January and hadn't really had time to work on it yet. So this was from you get two at a time, like January and February. So I just um I started playing with these, look for quotes. No matter how far we are, we can always share the moon and the star. I just like that quote and she's got these are moon and stars and then just go quickly through here but it, this is suddenly starting to fill in i felt like it had been pretty blank for a while and i think the last time okay here's another one this was february and this is the this is the girl the girls come with their dress and then their heads are separate and then it also came with the rainbow and the sun so this one says life can be a storm but your hope is a rainbow and your friends and family are the gold so i was able to do a two-page spread and i had this house in here to use with this um i wanted it on this page so it all just kind of fit together so we've got that. These are just, just the ones I had filled in. I'm going to kind of do a flip just so then I can have a video with a flip. These are all pages that are either done or ready to work on. Um, this one I did collage. There's really not a theme to this book except houses. So I try to kind of stick with the house theme. But it's, you know, I just um, use different papers in here to try different techniques to see how they worked on different papers. Um, so it's been kind of fun. I think this one we did, I did on stream. That was a fun one. I added little, little trinkets and stuff and dried flowers. Um, okay, art by Marlene stuff. This was a um, Wonderlust. This was one of the Wonderlust lessons one year. And then this was the latest set, which is March and April. And I know the March, April theme was a Klimt. They, they were inspired by Gustav Klimt. So I, um, this just came together. I, I had done this and then I actually, there are a few quotes by Clamp, So I put one in, I can paint and draw. I believe this myself and a few others say they believe this too, but I'm not certain if this is true. 
She turned out cute. Thanks, Devin, for the links. Um, so, yeah, so I kind of, I tried to go, like, in his colors and stuff, and then I also ordered, Eileen, you had asked if I used any of the Klimp stamps. This was one of the Klimp stamps that I did for the background. I stamped it with my Poscas, and then I colored it in with my Tombows, and then um, I went through the scrapbook paper I have from Stamparia, and he, Clint, I don't know if you know, does a lot, had done a lot of houses. So I was able to pull out one of his houses from the scrapbook paper. So, so that was fun. And then the rest, I think the only thing over here, I just, I've got this started and I need to do it, but, um, but yeah, that's my house journal is finally coming along. I feel like it's sat forever and now it's all starting to come together. So, so yeah, so that's kind of what I've been up to. And that's about it. Other than dog stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and dogs eating your homework, right? And dogs eating my homework. And I have, you know how your Apple watch, like I never really set it to like count my steps or do anything. I think it was set like on the lowest health thing. I looked at a thing. I'm doing like twice as much activity <laughs> as I was before I got the dog. Oh, because you're staying home. No, because I'm moving my butt walking. Oh. Because it's like, because um, I looked at it this morning and it's like, oh, keep it up. You're doing 200% of your total goal. Woohoo. I think it's time to move it to uh, make my goals a little bit better. <laughs> but think about it. Since I got the dog, I'm moving like twice as much as I used to. And I mean, yeah. I exercise and stuff like that. All but, that um, walking you're doing, you're getting in great shape. I have more energy, feel better. Yeah. So, but it's kind of cool that you, um, that you can, that you actually like, oh my God. So this is all worth it. And okay. Pam, Queen Pam said, I lost, she lost 18 pounds because we yeah. got the dog. I know it's great exercise. Um, oh yes, also too, check out um, Colleen it had a really good haul from Lisa Jameson. Lots of really cool ephemera, vintage, antique stuff. She posted the um, Oop, videos up there, so make sure you go check that out, and then you can check out Lisa's. Uh, I forget that's a. I keep yeah, thinking like I'm on you. <laughs> what? I keep typing in stuff like I'm you. And then I'm like, wait, that's Kathy Bird. <laughs> oh, I know. It, now it's back to you because it used to be you would be me when you typed. <laughs> well, they fixed it. So, okay. So, anywho, check that out and then go check out Lisa's page. Okay. Peggy said, when I first got my Fitbit, it sent me a message. Congratulations on 10,000 steps in a week. <laughs> yeah, that gets you motivated, Peggy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. So I think that's about it. I mean, nothing really new. We got one of the collage suit books, but Colleen already showed that. So we can um, we can just jump into the prompts today. Do you have anything else, Colleen, to show? I don't. I didn't want to hog the video with my haul, so that's why I did a, I did a recording. So I oh, that worked out good because now because then because you, you put like Lisa's link and everything in there. I enjoy. I watched it last night. I bought a ton. If you check it out, the bottom has her email to contact her if you want to buy any of the things you saw or or watch her video because she I didn't buy everything. <laughs> you can. Uh, purchase from her. Yeah, she has a great ledger, giant ledger pieces, huge ledgers. I was, it was, yeah, it was cool. I was not disappointed. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. I'm like, oh my gosh. All righty. So, prompts. Prompts. Let's get our book out. This afternoon, I get the pet out of my toe, people. Yes, so. this is uh, this is a great day for Colleen. Her pin comes out. 
Now, I'm sure it's going to hurt, but at least it's out. <laughs> it's out and it's, you're done. Another step, another step closer. <laughs> Oh my god, that's gotta be such a good feeling. It's but you're already like, like you're upstairs in your in your craft room, right? In your yeah. studio. Yeah. Yeah, I'm already doing better. And uh got and I have the bench. So well I'm sitting and then I have the bench. I prefer the stand, but I'm sitting. Yeah. Well, that's good. But once and that's out, you don't have to worry about bumping it i would cringe oh, every that's time you told me you bump that thing and the dogs they like come over to be petted and they lay on my feet you know what i mean they step on my feet they lay on my feet and i'm like oh, oh i thought you were gonna say they were trying to like pull the pin i'm like no. <laughs> that would be bad <laughs> That would be very mean dogs. Oh my god! They're gonna do. It, they need to do it like a band aid. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's get started on the prompts. And let's see what I pick first. Oh, Eileen, I'm sorry. Baby pink. <laughs> pink. She's listening or she's muted. Because the people come over. Oh, she's not mute. Yeah, she's muted. People come she over a lot by the lady next door when we stream. So she always has to mute. So hopefully, well, hopefully she didn't hear baby pink. So <laughs> that was 23. What's the date today? So almost a year. Oh, it's almost exactly a year ago. Wow. Here's all my envelope hoarding. Oh, and um. Helen is not here today because oh, was in there. there. What? This was in there. Oh, why that was in there with the. Oh, that's fun. With my envelopes, but Helen's not here today and probably won't be back for a while. She's getting her their camper set up for their first trip. They leave on Friday, so um, so yeah, so that's she's she's very excited about that. All right. Thanks, guys. Okay, so we have baby pink. All right. Baby pink. All right, let me get a pencil or a pen. Whatever I can find. Okay. Ready. All right, let's see. We can find what we haven't done. Now we've done all the colors, so we're repeating colors. Yeah, but we're repeating the colors. colors. Okay. okay, I'm in the color so you can get this direction. Pewter. Wait, was pewter color? A pewter keeps throwing me off. I feel like. Where did you pick it up from? Maybe I maybe I hit that in. Let me go this way. Well, I'm going to get off there here to replace my cable box. Oh, oh. okay, Eileen. Good luck. Yeah, hopefully they get everything working again. All Bye. right. Thanks for popping in. Are you leaving? I wonder if she's leaving because of baby pink. Oh no. no, she's leaving. I know, I know. I was just oh, kidding. I'm like, I'm sure she's telling the truth. But they're gonna, <laughs> get her, they're gonna kick if I don't know if she gets the internet through her cable or not. She'd be losing internet if she does. I don't know if she does or not. Okay, wait, I'm, I'm looking for I mean go towards the back. Anyway, some point we oh wait, brave. What page? 317. All right, 317. I've already put my hand in the first blank one I found. So, 317. No, we have not done Brave. Okay. Okay. Well, we're so being brave because we're using baby pink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what right, would baby. you do in your art journal today if you felt brave? Do that. Well, we're using baby pink. <laughs> Use the word. <laughs> Use the word brave somewhere on your page, or you could even make it the main feature of the page. Well, I think that's perfect because I've been very brave with all my with all of my surgeries. So yeah, that's a good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna baseline around that. I've been very brave going with all this. Okay, all right, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so this is the first. This is the first page I found without. Oh, so it's terrible. 
without that we haven't done and make sure we haven't done it. It's at 555 laughter. Yay, my favorite thing. Okay, so illustrate how laughter feels. Collage people laughing into your spread. So far, pretty decent. Okay. Oh, one more. Hands. It's two pages back from Lancaster. Oh, okay. Did the other way. Oh, the other way. Oh, Oops. I have it on uh, November 14th. Oops, okay. It was November 14th. Oh, okay. Never mind. Magnify. Okay, I don't think we, I don't have that one. Hold on, what, that's after laughter? Yeah. Okay, I don't have it. Magnify a certain part of your page. Draw something that is very small normally, but make it 10 to 100 times bigger on your page, like an ant or small spoon that takes up an entire page. <laughs> All right. Maybe pink foot with a, with a pewter pen coming out and you smiling. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And you can magnify the pin. And I can magnify the pen. Talk about like brave and magnify. Yeah. Out, like emphasize. Yeah, this is the whole reason I had the other surgery was to get this toe fixed. So yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! Okay. I guess you I'm gonna put down baby pink. Put down baby pink first. We go find that. All right. Oh, thank you, Dara. I can grab those. Okay, hold on. Yeah, what should we do today, Colleen? I wanted to work on an art journal page maybe, but then I thought well, I could get my 70s thing together. I could do a clips page what do you what do you feel like doing today um i wouldn't mind trying the jelly plate again trying it with the coloring book but you don't have the coloring book so i don't it doesn't okay matter. well here's what we could do if you want to do the jelly plate thing and i can start putting together my 70s journal we can I do two no separate things I have all that nearby too. So if that's what you want to work on, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I'm, 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 I, I had enough of the jelly plates. <laughs> let's, let's do that. Why'd you even ask? <laughs> what you wanted to do? No, because I didn't know you were going to say jelly plate. I thought you might think of something else. Oh. Uh, I was just saying, what are you, what are you feeling like? Not really. <laughs> Because I thought, we'll see, see what we want to do when we're done with these. Because I, and I was thinking maybe it doesn't doing matter. It, I'm just yeah, we could do like an eclipse page too. I don't know. They we'll could. You could do an art journal page with the eclipse. Yeah, I feel like um, let's see. But if you want, I'm, I'm just saying, if you wanted to do more of the painting. We can do two, we can, I, you can do that and I can work on, I can put my, start doing my 70s thing too. Because I had a couple of options. I'm going to put that up there. I'm going to cover up my words. I'm game for anything. Does it matter? Okay. <clears throat> Oops, I did the wrong one. Oh, I need to make a banner. I'm like, I can't wake up today. All right. Paste, 
Boy, I'm gonna be so stealthy going around the house. It's that thud, thud, thud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be so stealthy now. <laughs> Dogs will be like, they don't even have to try to figure out where I'm at. They just listen for the thud, thud. So you don't have to wear the boot then anymore. Uh, uh, I should be able right. to wear a shoe, but I think I have to wear a a leg thing. Is what I think. Uh, I unless he changes his mind, the uh, for swelling. Oh, this like the sock. The sock thing, yeah, because it swells really bad. Yeah. Well, because my foot and my toe, yeah, my toe. I mean, it just swells really bad. So I think I might have to wear. I think I could wear a shoe with one of those things for swelling. I don't know how long. I don't know. And that was a while ago he mentioned it, so I'll see if that's the case or not. Okay, so let's see. Baby pink, I'm trying. It play. won't be a boot. <laughs> I'm, done. I'm retiring the boot for a while. <laughs> I'm okay, baby. Have some fun with this one. I need a foot drawing. Okay, baby pink, I'm drawing a blank. Yeah, you can hide around the corners of scared Tom, right? I'm gonna be so stealthy instead of thudding around. <laughs> okay, the only thing the first thing that popped in for Brave was like Bra I don't know why, Braveheart. Braveheart. That's like the first thing that popped in. The boots getting the boot. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I gave a foot kicking the boot. <laughs> All right, let me start gathering my stuff here. <laughs> Boots getting a boot. You're out of here for a while. I want to see you for several months at least. <laughs> All right, I, I, am I muted? I'm going to start gathering my stuff. Yeah, you're not. You're not muted. I heard you. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, I'm going to. Bring it up on my computer a foot so I can kind of have something to look at. Foot drawing. Let's see. Images. Oh, easy. <laughs> yeah, easy. Thank you. Easy images. All right, the first thing I thought of was this book, the Kathy Arbor book, 365 Reasons for Smiling. I bet they can uh, find something with laughter in here. I like this perspective. This is such a fun book. Let's see. Let me go to April. Let me go. Cute pictures. Oh, there's also, I didn't realize there were quotes in here, too. Ooh, a big ass toes. Hold on, I need an eraser. Uh. Okay, I love this quote. The second day of a diet is always easier than the first. By the, <laughs> day, by the second day, you're off of it. <laughs> I love that. That's so, I love that quote. <laughs> oh, and that, this is why it's funny. It's by Jackie Gleason. Oh, he was always funny. Mm -hmm. I remember watching that show with my grandparents. I may use this. I may use that. That made me laugh. Oh, here's little chicks. We've used those. Ah, that's the goat I used. I may just use that one and be done with it. it made me laugh. Yep, we're going to go with that. All right. All right, let's see. Oh, I was hoping it was the middle of the, this one's the middle. 
All right, because this has those chicks. All right, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this part of it. And then I'll put the quote on the page. So Colleen, where's the, where's the first place you're gonna go that you haven't been since you had this done? Well, we're going to go out to eat because I can go out in public and not be embarrassed by a pen sticking out of my toe. So um, we're going to have a celebratory dinner. No pen, no boot dinner. <laughs> so we're going to go out to eat where I won't have to feel self-conscious of the boot and a pen. So I'm excited about that. We're going to get dinner out. We have been eating in. Oh, that'll be fun. You know, because I don't want people getting grossed out. Well, hopefully, I mean, do you usually put your foot up on the table? <laughs> Pictures of you going out to eat with your foot oh, on I the do. table. I and do. The pen, and the pen up on and the, the pen table. And, and sticking <laughs> out and then my foot up there or I can <laughs> see my boot on and stick my giant boot up on the table. <laughs> That just came. That like popped into my. Mind. Oh my god! <laughs> just think how quick. Just think how quick our service would be if I if I was doing that. They'd be like, "Let's get her out of here." Get her out of here. <laughs> <laughs> there's something. There's something not right about her. <laughs> okay. Oh, and this kind of works because, like, the vegetables are magnified. See how the corn is much bigger than it normally is. Who puts corn on a sandwich? I know. I'm just gonna drop. I'm gonna draw a circle around the corn to show that it's magnified. <laughs> cool. Okay. And then I'll just do. I'll do the light pink background. All right. Oh, I still have to do brave. Ugh, what am I going to do for Brave? I'll have to think of something. Well, that's what the pen looks like. In case you're wondering. Okay, maybe the Brave part is <laughs> you have to be brave to go on a diet. Mm. <laughs> You have to be brave with any medical anything. Our dental, medical, yeah. Okay, Devin said the grilled cheese with corn, and it is really good. I discovered that in New Zealand. Yeah, that's in so weird. Really? Huh. It kind of makes sense, though. Make like cheesy corn, longer. like cheesy corn chowder. I've never actually, though, I've never heard of that before. Has anybody else heard of uh, corn in your grilled cheese? Is that a Canadian thing? No, she said in New Zealand. New Zealand. <laughs> I don't blame them. <laughs> I wouldn't try that either. Huh. I would. I would. You I'm would. Pretty, I'm pretty game for... I would try most things. Ooh. That's what my bunion did look like. Hold on. You have a little bit of a curve. That was totally straight foot. There. Okay. Now, what was the props? Okay. Brave and laughter and magnify. So how do I magnify my pen? Like maybe... Maybe put like a circle around it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do with the corn. I'm just going to put like some kind of circle. Like it's like there's a magnifying glass. Okay. So my what color is my pen? I got to look at it. I've been staring at it for like a month. Okay, it's turquoise. 
Right. Oh, are you kidding? It's colors. Did you get to pick your color? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I told him, I said, well, at least the, the, it's silver and then the end of it's turquoise. I was like, well, at least it's not an ugly color. <laughs> Got, there's got to be a bright side to everything. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to show up or not. This might be. Let's see. It's too light. Okay, we get something darker. I think 80s. Let's see. Let grab a purple pink pen. All right, I'm gonna see silver pen. If I haven't used this in a while, and it's not charged, I'm gonna try and use this. That's gonna be the brave thing I do. Oh wait, I have this one. Oh, where's the other one? Kind of like the other one better. Hey, Colleen, if, do you still have your ivy? I just found something I forgot was in here. Um, ivy what? Uh, little mini printer? Yes. I have that one and I got the other one. I want to, let me, hopefully I can find the other one. Otherwise I'll just stick to That's a good idea. Do you think you, do I'm going to, then I can do the quote on here. I think. Maybe not. Let me see if I have the other one. I found my tools. I, I, I bought a second one. I couldn't figure out where I put the first one. I had a drawer of tools I forgot about. Yeah. See, it's all organized, right? It even says tools. But I didn't remember them being in here. So I have two of these. And... I may have two of these. I don't know. But yeah, and the Heidi swap little scissors. So in the little Tim flicker thing. So all the things I forgot I had. Here it is, the pulley. Out of sight, out of mine. What'd you find? A little thing with tools. Like I I didn't know where any of those tools went. And I have it in the drawer labeled tools. And I, <laughs> I still forgot they were in there. That's always fun though. Okay, I did find this one. It's the pulley. All right, let's see. Hopefully silver pen. I know I have silver well, gold. It has been a while. Let's not charge. That's okay. Right. See if I remember how to say that foot looks so funny. Okay, I've got stuff in here. Perfect. All right. Put that away. All right, I'm going to plug this in. Hopefully, it'll work. Yeah, I've been wanting to take this out. Open up, paint it. I cannot find my silver pen. I know I have a silver and gold pen somewhere. Good Lord. Good Lord. All right, that goes here. All right, let's see. Where's my phone? All right, let's see. I still lose stuff. There's just no. 
I guess I'm just never gonna get it right. <laughs> as much as I organize, I still lose everything. I just use silver paint because I can't find my silver pins. And I know I pulled those out for um what are you looking for, Colleen? Oh, the frustrated because I can't find any silver pins, like a silver and gold pin. Because my my pen on my toe is silver. Oh, okay. So I was trying to find a silver pin with no luck. So I'm gonna use paint. All right, let's see. Oops. Now we're going to be able to get it as straight as I could with a pen, but okay. There's that. It's silver. Second day. Ooh, let all that floated out. Okay. This is turquoise. Now I gotta amplify it. Let's see. And here's my black marker. Oops. Oop, good one. I just laid my hand in the paint. That's so talented. Okay. All right. Now I need a word. Brave. If it, no, off it. Okay. I okay. always do that. I write like beep. Anyone else do that? What's that? I always like write up. If there's not a line, I'm always like crooked. Because mm. I turn my paper sideways. So I always end up. My wording is always going up, right? And then it gets smaller. It starts out big, and then my letters get smaller. Yeah, smaller. I know. I should real. What I what we need to do is just take the time to do a really light line on the top and the bottom. Yay! How hard would that be, right? And that would fix all my problems. Well, I guess it must be hard because we never do it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. Well, you know that Janet would. I know. That's the first, that's the person I thought of. That's who I thought of. Okay. Now, let's see if this will print. Oh, and I should put Jackie Gleason. That show was so good, The Honeymooners. Ah, uh, Honeymooners. I think I saw like clips, but I never actually watched that. I only saw them in Smoking and a Bandit. Oh, okay. No, this was like in the 60s. Which is why I named 60s. my dog Smoking and Bandit, because I love that movie. Mid 60s. All right, let's see. Okay, now let's hope this will print. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to have to add this after. I'm going to have to add the quote after my thing charges up a bit. All right. Oh, yeah, you haven't used in a while. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah it's charging right now. All right, and then I'll do... Hi, Barbara. Hey, Jane. You watched The Honeymooners on an old black and white TV in the 60s, LOL. Yep. Me too. With my grandparents. Let me see something. But that been out when like I Love Lucy was on? Yes. Because that's in black and white. Yeah. Yeah, that was that same era. Like I Love Lucy. Um, what was the other one? Dick Van Dyke Show. Okay, now I need laughter. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh, I could draw that. I might do that one. Oh, yeah. It always helps to turn your keyboard on if you want it to work. No. Really? That's crazy. No, I have a problem this time. So far, knock on wood, everything's going good. And I did fix the problem last time. It was me. Right, let's see. Something. Okay, open that. Oh, I minimize. There we go. There were only 39 episodes. No, I didn't know that. Oh, that's all. <laughs> oh, that's a good Taylor Swift song. I like that. <laughs> Which one? Ta uh, oh, and the problem. It's <laughs> that's my song. <laughs> it's all me. <laughs> Good one. That's good. Oh, well, now I'm going to hear that playing in my head all day. That's a good earworm. Okay. Let me get my pink. Okay, this is now I need to have, have that. I'm going to have to be. See. I need a hand. Give me a hand. Hand drawing. That's easy. Oh. Easy. I need one that's like grabbing, like pinching. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Like this. Okay. Oh, here's my, here's my baby pink. Ooh. Hold on. What'd you do? Keep putting my hand on that paint. Oh, I hate that. You're getting silver everywhere. Well, at least it's getting to be short sleeve weather finally. So I'll stop dipping my sleeves in paint. Yeah, I'm tired of wearing sweatshirts. I know I am too. I'm tired of wearing coats outside that, to go for a walk. Uh, that too. It got up to 75 yesterday here, or 73, I should say. It was supposed to be 75, but it got to 73. I can't draw. Let's see. Draw wrist. This is where I wish I could draw. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love your foot. Wait, do you see my hand? It's marvelous. <laughs> Oh, you're, oh, the, oh, you're actually doing the pulling out of the pin. Yeah. If I actually could draw a hand. That yeah. documents the day. That documents the day. Except it looks like he's wearing, like, he's got a really small hand and mittens. I don't know. I got to try this. <laughs> <laughs> you go into the doctor and his hands are really small. And he's wearing a mitten today. <laughs> okay. So I got to imagine it's like this. Okay. Wait, wait. No, no, it's wrong. But he's pulling out. Okay, so I'm gonna do like thumb over here, finger on the pen, and then there'd be like knuckles, and I guess N words, something like this. See, okay, my thumb's too big. I need to make a smaller thumb. Okay, so that's his forefinger. And that would be his thumb. Be closer. Okay. Let me find my here is my glue stick. I know, right, Peggy? Peggy says, ouchie. <laughs> Where he's like, e. <laughs> Like, ew. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do, magnify. <laughs> magnify the word ew. Uh. He's wearing rubber gloves, too. So, so I'm going to make, let's see. We'll oh, blue. It. A blue hand. Or blue, blue hand, hand. <laughs> like latex. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Think of fingers like bendy sausages for knuckle, <laughs> like for these three. Oh, that actually works. And then we'll pretend that's it. We'll pretend like, I guess they it, don't need a line there. How's it? If I'm doing this, I should. Oh, that's what makes it look weird. I don't have like a bend in my thumb. I'm like, why does my thumb look weird? 
I should have like a, well, I guess I'm kind of like maybe a slight bend in the thumb. Oh, you know, you could do on the little maybe. sausage things, put little lines for knuckles. God, I, I love getting down the floor. Let's do that. Like, so that looks like a thumb because it's a little like, batter. Like a shape to it. And like little knuckles. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Like right here would be like little. Yeah. yeah. The little lines. And then right here would be. Because it really should be anatomically correct, right? <laughs> correct. Because, yes, because, you know, I'm such a good drawer and uh, drawing and stuff. So this is my expertise here. Okay. Of course, I pick a pen that hasn't been used yet. I probably would have been because to avoid drawing the whole thing, I think I would have Googled hand taking out pin and toe. <laughs> oh, I wonder what that would have came up. I, don't know. <laughs> I always Google stuff before I have to draw it. Okay. Oh, well. Okay. This, is not, this is not a drawing channel, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, let's see. Everybody knows I'm an amateur at drawing, so. I know, at least you try, Kelly. Hey, at least I'm trying. Everybody knows this is not a drawing channel, so. All right. Our, our pen removal. Yeah. Cause the blue glove. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that is just the right color. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Now, where's my where's my laughy face? E All right. It's my laughy face. It's my happy face. It's too painful to think of. <laughs> oh, hold on. I think I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> it's making you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Emma says performance of the Blue Man Group. <laughs> Oh gosh. Yeah, they're they're gonna be there to take out your pin today, Kathleen. <laughs> you picture that one. Oh shoot. What's funny is <laughs> about my drawing is I should have made the hand bigger. <laughs> my foot smaller instead of made a small hand and a big foot. I should have had like thought ahead and made like the hand larger and it's all. It's like my doctor got child size hands. Hold on. I have to um I have to mute for a second. Okay. <laughs> I got big feet. He's got little hands. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, 
I can't tell the difference between the fingers and ten. <laughs> so you can think that this was the foot and this is his hand. <laughs> Wait, wait. He's got, he's got there. That's his thumb. Dude, he's got his thumb. It's right there. That's his forefinger. Oh, oh God. He does seem to have a problem. He's got little tiny hands. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Bring your little toes to remove the pen. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> they put their dye on and came back high through a blue hand. <laughs> putting in this. Bring on some chips. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> After all I've been through, I think I could take the pain of that. <laughs> your art what what else can you do right thanks jasper oh my gosh my stomach hurts <laughs> you're all off the wrong foot <laughs> okay all right then i'll put nipple ring Peggy's other comment I missed. Hold on. <laughs> I'll put this along here. <laughs> the hand and foot are interchangeable. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, interchangeable. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry about that. Kevin just had some good news, so. 
so good. Um, yeah. <laughs> I love the happy face, like, makes the whole thing. It, it takes, it's like, don't, don't worry about the terrible drawing. Focus right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Here, I just need to, um, alien put abduction. Alien foot abduction and probing, <laughs> probing. <laughs> Ooh, this works good. Okay, so I want to show you something. A friend of mine, her husband's making these things. They're a stand for your glue. So you can <sighs> keep your glue on your desk upside down. <laughs> Oh, did he make it out with a 3D printer? Yes, he did. That's cool. Isn't that cool? And this is the first time I've used it. And I've had my the glitter glue with a pin in it. And it just fits right here. But it'll also fit <laughs> like my gesso and all that kind of stuff. So I'm thinking maybe I'll, I'll buy a few more. And then I could just have those on my tray. And then they're already upside down. Isn't that cool? That is brilliant. So I let me ask, like, I, I have to see if he's going to be making any more, if he's going to sell them. I think it was like $8. But, oh, and it comes, okay, cool. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, so it goes like this. That's nifty. Isn't that cool? And then the other thing he made, which I haven't used yet either, is this and that is for this is for bottles of paint so when you're working you can put your colors out and then your paints upside down so you don't have to shake it and waste time squeezing it out isn't that cool that's nifty so yeah. his, wife, his, his wife is an artist and then he designed these things for her? Yeah, yeah. She's in my art group and he oh. had gotten a 3D printer and he's been looking, he's been trying it out on different things and they've been trying different things to design. And um, yeah, I think they figured it's great for Dina Wakeley's paints. Yes, yes. They do I always have to shake, shake those down and I got the fine point. I think Is that would be good for the Dina Wakeley. Yeah, paint. let me let me get the uh, let me get the Dina paints out. Hold on. Uh, oh, here they are. Let's see. Yep, Dina paints fit in here. Isn't that yeah, cool? I was thinking that those would be good because you do have to kind of like tap and get those down. Oh, I wonder you could actually like I have mine in a cart. You could actually just store them all upside down like this in the cart with this. Yeah, um, then they then they would be they would be ready to go. They would always be ready. I'll have to talk to her, see if he's gonna make different sizes or things like that. But um I'll let you know if he's if he's gonna be making more of them and how much they're gonna be and stuff like that. But um, I love the I love this glue thing though. Except you have to make sure you don't lose your needle, which of course I just did. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here's my little pen. So he yeah, probably just... needs to buy a new toy for his wife. <laughs> <laughs> here is uh, here's Terry's card. Oh, that's awesome. Do a magnifier around the ladybug. And his little kid laughing. Being brave is not of absence of fear. Being brave is hearing that fear and finding a way through. Oh, I love that. Oh, I do like that. Oh, and who did? Oh, Peggy did hers too. Let's Aww. see. Oh. Laugh the world laughs with you. Cry and a, with cry and you cry with your girlfriends. 
Be Aww. brave out of your comfort zone. Oh, I love these quotes. Oh, Those sweet. are all really good quotes. If every woman needs a brawl, it's a good brawl, a great friend, they will both support you. <laughs> <And you're> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> With Sherry's laughter is the jump from possible to the impossible. Aww. And she's got the pink background and and it, she's got this for I guess the magnifier. Cool. Uh, Sophia, if you haven't seen our Facebook group, but she also posted this on her Instagram. Um, her boys jelly plated all these papers. Her kids did. They did such a good job. And then there's the, the uh, link to my channel. And here's Sophia's little book. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, sorry. I don't there think I've know. seen here. Let me see if I can make that uh, a little bit bigger. Very cute. She's been taking, she's good with her classes. When she takes a class, she does it. I know. It's not like us. <laughs> I love that little book. It's so good. She made a little fabric cover with the little blanket stitch on the edge. Oh, book. and then the lace. I love that. Let's see. There you go. Oh, those are the containers you were talking about. That was funny, I thought. Yeah, there's the shirt I bought a week or so ago when I got my hair cut. I may be called, but I pecked you in my head three times. I know. I read that. I'm like, oh, my God. I hope she's not talking about me. <laughs> no, I'm talking about most people, neighbors. Oh, yeah. No, but it was funny. I was like, ooh, that's another yeah. side of Colleen. Yeah, these are those <laughs> old bags that I found. Like, they're like, they're kind of like, because I've had them so long, they feel uh, dry almost. Like, I feel like they could, like, dry rot split you know what i mean like oh, i if, wonder if you put like really dry now like i don't know how sturdy they are but i got a bunch of those left but oh that's fun that'd be fun to put markers and stuff in i gotta find a use for them i've got like six of them i think or something oh, really what could you use those for i'd say different markers and stuff that might be good to put like the um watercolor crayons or the watercolor pencils in the Dina crayons and all that stuff. Well, they're really long now. It, no. That's the weird part is how long they're they're long. It's not like see they're now Rangers doing the bags started doing the cloth bags and then Forty Nine Market started doing the cloth bags as well. Except the uh, Ranger has uh, Dina's done hers in different sizes, where they have one size for the Forty Nine right. Market. You gotta Thanks, find, there's guys. Gotta be something now you can use. Hey, Teresa. Meanwhile, I I'm on three cards. 2023. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I do too. I like to think everyone spin all the prompts too. This just needs something. Let's see. Oh, wait, I got it right down here. This was Sophia. This one is Peggy. Oh, what was, what's that? Oh, I'm, writing down, I'm writing down the, I wrote down everybody's foot quotes. God, they're cracking me up. Oh, that's um, a good idea, Colleen. Okay, Devin. And then this one is my favorite thing in the foot are interchangeable. <laughs> that's my, my favorite. Which one is that? That my she said the hand and foot are interchangeable because someone said they can't tell the difference between my foot and hand. Oh my god! <laughs> no, unless your your second toe is really long. 
Or my thumb, toe extension. The thumb is really long too. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right. Okay, here they are. And then I'll just, I'll add my funny quote over here. I oh, remember this is the pen removal day. Okay. Another week done. Yeah, that little book was cute. <laughs> this will make you went to market, this little piggy stayed home. Oh, you know what? You know what I was reminded of? Like you had sent me that post, the girl who has the clear mini binder. Yes. We, we have, need to pull those out. Yeah, I did like two, two, like two, three pages in that. And then you were the first person to even like bring out the little binders from the Staples. Little, I know. Maybe should we, is that close, Kelly? Maybe we could just. Yeah, I, could, yeah, I know where it's at. Yeah, it's in the cabinet next to me. And then I thought about all the little binders from Staples too. I know. Why don't, should we work in that? And like, we can, like, it'd be a good place to put some of these quotes that we like. Oh, yeah, I don't care. Like we do some work. collage and then put some quotes in it. You want to do something like that? I got a lot of bits and bobs and baskets. I could do some, yeah. Yeah, I do. Why stuff. don't we, you want to do that? We could be inspired by Sophia. I'm a okay. Yes, we yeah. could. We could. That might be kind of fun. That might be kind of fun, and then we can. Yeah, um, I really like how I really like her pages. I thought I do were too. Really cute. Um, well, I think I got in there on the shelf. Um, remember, I made the little um, Robin Marie books. Look at my yes. look at my container. I found for him that I have. <gasps> oh, that's so cute! I love that. They fit in here. <laughs> Perfect. They fit perfect, and I love it. I had this a weird oblong basket that I picked up at consignment, and then I wanted to put all my uh, books together, and yeah. So it fits it. perfect. Oh, I like that, Colleen. I cute. So I was like, that are all together. They're happy. Cute little books. All right. Well, why don't, I'm gonna go. I'll go get my little binders and the and, and the then stuff. Kathy and I worked on these separate. I haven't worked on it since. I'm in <laughs> organizing mode. You can see, like, I need to give her a wrist. She's missing a wrist. All right. I'm like, gonna go up and get my marker basket. It has one of my binders. In. Oh, this okay. This is last week's prompts. Hey, Doug. This week's prompt. Let's just let um. And then Kathy, I worked offline. It is our Facebook group. Everyone's probably already seen it, but like, yeah, I was like, she got no wrist. Um, but this girl was uh image, and then I added uh I slipped in like the cat on in there and then added the cat. This was like a like a transfer, but of a building, it just didn't go like I wanted it to be, and then that was just a stencil, but that was fun, and that's on like brick paper but because i did the paper you can kind of see the brick if i look really close like through her body but like i should have done the paint lighter so you could see more of the brick so i may go back in with like a, a pencil because i really wanted it to like look like you know to be able to see the brick wall so like i'm just gonna need to like if I put the paint on too heavy, like draw in, um, or you know, the little bricks or whatever, so you can tell she's on the brick wall. And that was one <laughs> that we did on our channel this on her nose. <laughs> and then that was the black and white uh, that was doing this on the gray paper, or whatever. And then, then that was the one I did off camera. And see, by doing it lighter, like here, it's a little weird. Like it's a little too smeary. I felt like this, maybe it's too heavy. That's too light. Or like it just, I didn't, but this one I think I like the best because you can see all the, the stonework. 
And so I, I don't know, like when I do this again, I'm not sure I'm going to use any skin tone. I kind of like this one had skin tone, but it didn't transfer. And I like just the outline of the image on the brick wall without the skin tone. So I think of all these, you know, all these, um, like her legs are colored in, but I like that you can see the brick wall. You can see the edge of the jelly plate. I'm going to have to like try to blend this in. Thanks, guys. Oh, what's I'm getting dental work done in about an hour. Oh, get some laughing gas. There you go. <laughs> I got as I was really young when I had that stuff. It all just put me to sleep. Everything puts me to sleep. That's what the surgeon realized. They didn't have to heavy sedate me because it doesn't take much to knock me out. So um, so that one I think I liked it best because you could see the wall and just more of the outline of it. This one, it is like the paint. I mean, I like the image, but like Cheers. the paint was too smeary, but I could I would try to fix that one. This one, the paint maybe was a little too heavy and I lost the, I lost the brick. You could do it. Sorry, I've got a friend coming down. And so I'm trying to figure out, like, this one we did just on a plain piece of paper. This one was, like, a second pool, and then we did it in the book. So I think I need to get, like, I need to either do, I think I decided I like, I need to do either the really dark, try to, to sketch in the bricks that were originally on the page or just go with, I think this was my favorite with the outline. So I think that might be more what I want. Oops, I'm off camp. Oh, uh, this might be more of what I want to go with instead of this would be good for an art journal, but I love too much of the background. This I love. You see the bricks through them. This is smeary. So I think that's my favorite. So I think I kind of got the hang of like, I think I get the hang of the look that I want to do because that one ended up being my favorite. And then that one, the paint was too heavy and the paper stuck and I lost all the brick. So I think that this is my favorite of the group. So practice, 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 right? And now, it, you know, if you're going to do it on a solid piece of paper, then, um, you know, what I mean, and obviously you need to have, you know, paint on it. But if you got to do it like this, this is just a plain piece of paper with the stencil. But if you got to, you know, if you're playing off the brick, I like that. So that's that's my conclusions I've come to. Yeah, I like the brick showing through. You like them all? Thanks, Peggy. Another brick in the wall. Oh, I like that song. We don't I love, love that song. I love Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. Who sings that? That's Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. Okay. I have a little friend down here. Okay. Um, here's my, here's what Colleen's talking about if you're not familiar with the little mini binder. Um, these, they have at Staples, usually around um, in midsummer when they start getting the school supplies. Now, Ziggy's not going to shred some paper. Ziggy, I do have a little area marked off for Ziggy since he's not fond of being in his pen anymore. Um, he's having a peanut butter Kong. Oh, Jasper, you saw David Gilmore in concert? Oh, I would love to see him in concert. Where'd you see him? Okay. So these are 
these are the little mini binders. Find them at Staples. Starting midsummer, sometimes they have leftovers throughout the year. Um, and it's just like oh, and Phoenix, cool. Um, little binder. I just had a date. I got a fair. <laughs> so that's why I made you big. Why look? Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I just started using these with little scraps and bits and bobs that I had. Here, let me go. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Well, I know where my blank books are. <laughs> okay, let's see. Clean, organized. You find stuff, you lose stuff. Okay, so we've got this. Just little scraps, ephemera, just different things. Um, some pages I would finish at once. Other things, if I liked it, I just went through and, um, you know, put something down. Like here, I probably just put some washi tape down and later found this to go with it. Don't, I love them too, Devin. They're just fun. They're fun if you want to play with color, experiment, use up your stash. I mean, these are just little, little bits. All those yeah. little bits you don't want to throw out. Yeah, and it you can get, it looks like, I mean, you can get like a, use your extra paint, use your extra little doodads, like die cuts and mm -hmm. use up your stuff. Little die cuts. It's also a really good place for washi tape. Oh like yeah, this is washi tape. tape. Very good point. See, here's like these numbers and little little rub-ons. Just kind of fun. So here, it'd be a great place if you find a quote you like, just to put in the quote or just kind of a fun little, fun little book. And I think they're fun to do. Like, okay, this is washi tape. So I have a little jumping off point for this page. Oh, shit. I just dropped the washi over the edge down into the living room. <laughs> All of it? No, one fell out of my bin and it just fell downstairs. So someone been walking in it. <laughs> oh, no. Here's more washi tape, little stickers, little stickers I've ordered from artists. I think this came from Tiny and Snail. You know, ephemera from Tina Walker. Here's some. Here's so. Here's two pieces of washi. Oh yeah, tape. Brooks little. Uh, Brooks little printout. Yeah, Brooks printouts. Fun place to use those. Just silly little. Oh, that's a cute little thing. I don't even know where that's from. Oh, that's adorable. Is that cute? And it's just washi tape. This little chick and this sticker. Oh, I got some. Some sticker chips for my farm kit. I should pull those out. Mm -hmm. More stickers. Oh, you put your art foamy stickers in a mini journal. Oh, that's a good idea, Devin. See, I love this little bird. That's another sticker. This is just a scrap of a ledger. Um, here's one of is this Southern Gal? It's either Southern Gal or Megan Quinlan. Just another fun little sticker. So yeah. And then Colleen, I think Colleen found these. There's these little clear binders, more stickers. Just like start sticking stuff down and pages kind of grow from that. Oh, here. This would have been perfect for today's prompt. Take a closer look. There's a little magnifying glass. Oh, that would have been perfect. Wouldn't that have been perfect? I would have taken that out of here, maybe. Yeah, I would have just cut that out of here. Well, Terry just drew one that she's getting so good at drawing. You can also use your little 3D stickers from like the Dollar Tree and stuff in these books. Yep. Yep. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. Here, look, that's just a perfume bottle that I had cut out. See, a, ski, a, a guy skiing. I mean, just odds, you know. Um, odds and ends. For, uh, Digitals. Yeah. 
Alaska, Digi's, anything, anything. Here's watches, sketched girls Love from girl. ads. This must, oh, I think this was, no, they're two different ads. Who I found my chicks. And then almost, I have a, almost every page has something in it. Um, Do you use bits and bobs from your scrapbook kit, kits you have, magazines, of course. And yeah, and here's like a just a piece of a scrap of scrapbook paper that yeah, was pretty. Also, I didn't want to throw it away. I saw someone using that, and I was like, oh, I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, yeah, you sent me that, and I'm like, oh, that would be fun. Bye, Jane. Bye, Jane. Thanks for being here. Okay, more. Just scraps. These are a lot of scraps and stuff. Washi tape. I just thought that was cool. It's just from a ad or a magazine. Hey, buddy. Oh, it went underneath. Just a minute. Just a minute. Like, why is he trying to go under the desk? This could be why. Ah, I'm getting that just a minute. Shit. Hurt me. Uh oh, move it. Move. I can't see. You got it? Okay, here we go. There. There you go. Go over there. He was calling rolled under my desk. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, yeah, so weird licking noises. That's just Ziggy. All right. Little bingo card. This stuff. Any stuff you don't know what to do with that you've saved for, you don't know why. Just slap it in here. I think here's one more page. And that's it. That's it. Let me show you where I, let me show you my boxes. I have little baskets of stuff. And I use, in these little baskets, I use for my Rolodex cards too. Because that kind of stuff's good for Rolodex cards. Okay. Anybody else like to do or have mini binders that they like to do? Or, oh, you found it. And I was going to show, and then I got, I haven't started these yet. Yeah, I have, I, I did I pull my box out. I, th I think this might be the only one I have. I think the rest of mine are the little binders like you have that I bought. Oh, okay. So it's yeah. basically the same thing. I mean, one, you know, just one of the clear cover. Yeah, it's the same type of thing. This is just a cool cover because it's clear. And then it also has graph paper. These are blank sheets of paper. Well, I mean, honestly, you were doing that, and then it became popular, and then you found, then we found the clear ones. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't care about these. Okay, when Peggy traveled a lot, she used to keep a small journal to Zentangle in. Oh, that's a good idea. Devin has a few mini journals, but my favorites are using the mini comp books. Yeah, that's another thing, the mini composition books. Oh, because then with the mini comp, well, you could do it with these too, but with the mini comp books, you could actually use those with your jelly plate. Yeah, because with this, you could actually cut up any kind of paper and put it in, like if you have jelly prints and stuff like that. Yeah. So I never go overboard ever. Um. <laughs> never. Yes, Colleen is so good about not going overboard. Never ever hold it. <laughs> yeah. No, what this was? No the switches. Got there it, you go. Okay. All right. So like, so like when 
so Kathy found these. So then I like went out like bought 80 of them. So um, then this, I think after you put stuff in them, you will have to like take some of the pages out because you won't be able to fit them in. Yeah, it starts um, to get thick unless you like it fluffy. Yeah, and then like you may, and so these I think were extras I had pulled out, and then they also sold little um, refills too. Now, I don't know if they still do. I've had this one a while, so let's see. This one may be the only one I did. And then you decorate. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, uh, I use the little doors in it. That's um, what I'll do today. Maybe is pull out some of the doors. Oh, from the uh, Catherine. Anderson book. I oh, what a cute idea. And then you decorated the outsides with like scrapbook paper. And I put little stuff inside. Okay, so I made a little door book. Oh, and I made, oh, I used black, I got black paper. I wonder where I got that at. And like there's a little paint thing. Hey, Jack. Okay, boys. Oh, there's more in here. It's not sticky. Somewhere I got black black paper instead of white paper don't i don't remember why oh, i must have that's why i have all these i took those out unless i made my own i don't know i have black papers in here and i started making a little uh mini door journal and i had some with the um, katherine anderson's doors i think the rest are blank and then the other thing, I, I knew I, I had them, but I was kind of like refreshing. I'm going to leave my door book out so I remember to work on that. Um, was a uh, little journal. If you don't, the binders, the other thing you could do is the little things from the Dollar Tree. So you could take and get the little uh, mini composition books from the Dollar Tree, they come in like three, three for a buck. You made a cording concerto on a black and gray white clutch. Oh, thanks for posting that link, um, Dar. To travel, you would use a small Zentangle. Are the mini composition books? Oh, Devin's already on it. The mini composition books. So these are the Dollar Tree. You get. Um, I'm assuming they're still there. I don't know when I bought these, to be honest. Um, but this is them open. So you get three of these for a dollar. These are three and a half, by, uh, three and a quarter by four and a half. So these also is the same, the same premise. So you could do the same. Because this paper is probably the same paper that's in those journals. Just really thin, um, really thin paper. And then uh, these were some little books I had bought. I don't, I'm not even sure where I got these. I saw these, and I'm not even remembering where I got these. Oh, are they, those in the stuff tainers? Oh, it's a mini moleskin. I cool. see the name. Is that the stuff tainer, Colleen? No, this one was called... Oh, it's similar though. It's similar. And I used to get these at Myers and then Myers quit selling them. Uh -oh. Now you see the prices. Look, normally four dollars I got for two ninety nine. Oh nice. And that's so, those are thicker than the stuff containers. That's perfect. Way thicker than the stuff containers. I wish they still sold these. And I don't know who the manufacturer is unless protect and store yeah. is the manufacturer. Huh. I'm going to write that down and maybe see if I can find something similar. Okay. So these are mini moleskins. I don't, again, I don't remember where we got them. And then um, these are some little sketch journals. These are four by six. Yeah. Didn't Prima have some moleskins. little ones too at one point? And these who? Prima. Prima. Oh, they could have. And then they these have were uh, ones I got at... Um, Oh, where is that? Uh, Tuesday mornings is our business. Um, this is Amy Tangerine. She called them day books. Oh, I love her stuff. And it looks like. Hi, Sherry. Oh, sorry. Day, but yeah, it looks like she put these inside another journal. I'm trying to look at the little picture. 
but that's a spiral. So I'm not sure what she had put this in, but it's just like, here's grid, blank, and I'm assuming lined. They had grid, blank, and they have little... Oh, maybe dot. Yeah. There's no dot. They gave you lines. I think I'd rather had dot, but yeah, okay. And these, uh, so these were by Amy Tangerine. Let's cool. say, and she's Amer. This was American Crafts. I'm assuming she still does American Crafts. That was just a uh, old. Oh, I like I said when you start going through things, you have two of those. I'm like, oh, two because they're Tuesday mornings. Um, no. Anyway, these are some ideas, and I don't. Again, I don't know. I have so I have those stripe ones. They those were on mine. sale somewhere. It uh, Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something. Yeah, say so there's some things I don't. I just don't remember because I've had them for years, and then they live in here. I'm gonna leave the mini compositions out. Devin says that that's what she likes to work in is yeah. the mini composition, and I was telling them that like the the papers are. The papers are the same, but you do get more real estate. Yes, that's nice. So you have so different sizes to work with. So this is itty bitty, and this is bigger. It depends on what size you want to work with. So if you want a little more real estate, there's these. If you want the, you can see the, in comparison the, the size. So anyway. What a great idea for the doors. Right, we got all those door things. We should we can work on that one day. We make work on our door journal, make a little door journal with one of these. Very I cool. started who knows when I started that. I don't remember. Again, I have a lot of started stuff that I've never finished, and I and that I did figure out as well. <laughs> oh, that it. book is will be good to use in there. Definitely underneath. Um, hey, oh, you know what else? I should pull out the um, the little boxes mm -hmm. of words and phrases and stuff we have. Yes, and if anyone who collects quotes, and I know Sophia was one, and there were some others that like to do quotes. I think yeah, these it could be, or you could do a Dee Dee book where you put all things funny in it. Yeah. Because this group is hilarious. So, her wing nut book. I love her wing nut book. Yeah, you could have your own wing nut book. You could use that. There's so many things you could do with it. So. Yeah, we do have lots of starts. Okay, um, let me, I'll grab my stuff. I have two puppies down here and they're both being good. Oh, so that you don't speak too soon. I know, I shouldn't say anything. Don't say nothing, nada. <laughs> Okay, so um, you could also use like a little bit, like this was, um, I stamped some muslin one day. I stamped a bunch of muslin that's in here. I did, um, I don't know why I did it, but again, you could, I stitched on some. I also have some of these. I think I got these. I don't know if I did this or this was from Michelle. Little uh, Tim Holt stamps on fabric you could also i have tons of this kind of stuff like the little uh vellum things you know like the little kit things okay rabbit trails rabbit trails and more rabbit trails so i'm gonna do i was inspired by her chick so i have like I have my arm sticker books and stuff because yeah i like it so but that made me think her chick there you go. Uh, OCD. I don't, I don't think so. Move. Move. You don't get to knock it over. Yeah, I've done that so many times. I'm OCD, obsessed with chicken disorder. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm really bad for starts. Um, I'll show you what I've done in this one. So this would all been, I'm sure this is probably all on camera. Uh, she believes that she did. Okay. Now on the back. Yeah. I think this was a art foamy. 
here, a mini art foamy in the garden. That's the art foamy. Oh, those are cute. This I did must have. Oh, I must. I can see what Eileen must have been at the stream. This has some texture to it, so it must have rained this through the die cut. Yes, because I know. I think Eileen got these too, the little books. And then on the back, there's that. And then I have just just basically kind of abstract art. Stop being afraid of what could go wrong and think of what could go right. There's some stencil paste on there, it looks like. Some paint, stencil paste. Um, see, this is, oh, <laughs> something about, quote, if I cross out coffee, you put die, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> This is a job for alcohol. It's, uh, yeah. Um, I wonder if I cut up a big sheet of paper. Some of these look like the same colors. I always wonder if I cut up a master board and put it in here. Oh, I bet. I wonder if I did that. There's, uh, again, this is uh, uh, Megan Quinlan. Oh, <laughs> the little frog. I think I don't know if I did the frog on purpose. I put paint down. It looked like a frog, so we went with it. And his oh, eyeballs, his eyeballs were in the ring. My little sweet pie, sweet oh. pie. Uh, this one it looks like has pieces of fabric, paste, paint, and pen, and then a quote. And then this one's all was all I stitched some vellum. Fabric, a little bit of paint, and a hand stitched, and a little bit of oh, this is what happens when your bobbin gets effed up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so, and then I um then I think I cut out like I was also thinking you could use these if you wanted to use your little almanac. That's so funny because I was waiting for you to get done. I was gonna say, Oh, this might be the perfect place for the little almanac. <laughs> You you cut, yeah, I already did. You cut holes in them, and then you could just like you could also to take your almanacs, cut holes in them. I think I glued them back to back because they are not back to back in the book. And then you could put these in a little binder, which this side, you know, our book, and then you have the reference to to it for inspiration. So there's oh, that. Good idea. All right, so I'm gonna open this up. Oh, I like this one. Let's see. I'm going to maybe do a double page spread on the back instead of a single. I'll leave. I'll do these two. And they are fun because you can um, pull the paper out and work on it. Yes. And so I'm going to do the uh, double, do the back. And leave, I'll do something on that. I'll do a double page spread like this. And okay. use some chicken wire washi. All right, so I'm gonna flip flop with you for a sec. Okay. What do you hear, Jack? Flip flop. Go upstairs. I bet Kevin's home. I hope Kevin's home. Just a minute. This one's big enough to cover it. Good one. Need to sit down. I need to sit my butt in a chair. Sit down. When my foot gets gigantic, I need to sit my butt down. Okay. I like to stand in art. I'm always end up standing. I'm like. I could stand, but I can't stand for, but stand, if I walk or stand for an extended amount of time, it just swells a lot. So. Okay, so here's my, I just, Bye, Sophia. Bye, Sophia. Thanks for being here. And thanks, everybody, for coming to hang out. Hopefully, sorry if we missed you coming in. All right, so these are just like old book pages, just different things that I've torn up, used, and for some reason. Love the girl papers. Thanks, Sherry. Couldn't throw it away, but they end up being like good little things for here. And then I also have 
these are the stickers. Colleen and I found like just these little word quote stickers. And I don't think, have you used yours at all, Colleen? I don't think I've used them. I, I have those. Um, I have, I don't know if I have those. Oh, I thought you got the stickers. I know we got the cut out words. They have like quotes from little things from, I don't think I have those. Those are cool. Okay, so here's good vibes. I love those. Smile. Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. Just little, I got these probably on Etsy. I thought you got some of these. Or maybe no, you didn't get them. I didn't get them. I wish I would have. Those are cute. Um, I'll, tr I'll go back. I'll Thank try you. and find where I got them. Yeah, see if you can find it in your orders. Nevertheless, she persisted. So just kind of fun of a bunch of bunch of little your dreams your dream is achievable so just fun little stickers and they're just the right size to go in there all right there's siggy oh there you are all right good boy okay let's do this i'm going to Be fun get stickers out of the hole, but I'm gonna be lazy and keep this sticking my fingers. Now this is sticky washi because it's sticking my can't get it off my fingers. The opposite of most washi. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue some of these in here to kind of match what's already. What I've already got. And this thing is, I'm going to use two scissors. I'm going to do this. I think I'll just use my glue stick and see how that works. Okay, just, to adjust. I have my camera adjusted for last time. Okay, here we go. Okay. Right. Uh, what are you eating? Oh, oh okay. stop when you're tired, stop when you're done. I need to write that somewhere in big letters where I see it often, right? Don't stop. I know, that's a good one. And then you sleep for five days. <laughs> yeah. oh, here we go. Sorry if I keep going out of. No, you're fine. I just zoomed in on it, so you were so we could see it better. Because working on something smaller, I could be able to see okay. it side by side. All right. Oh, yeah, this works out good. All right. So that's on the back of here. So between the Katherine Anderson and these little calendar things, you can. Uh, yeah. Put in. They're good fillers. They are good fillers. You totally use your almanac and your Katherine Anderson doors. And All right. Let me get my. Ready to work at it. My punch. Oh, my gosh. That's hard to be. 
Okay, this is a hole punch by We Are Memory Keepers, and it has five different size hole punches in one, which is kind of nice. You don't have to have all the different, all the different stuff. Okay, there's so many cute ones. It's hard to pick. I know. Oh, there. Those are cute. Pick and singer, shady chick. Yeah, I love this set. Like, it's hard to choose because I love them so much. Foreign hair, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. All right, so here we go. Fast, so there. Foul play. All right, let me see if I can find a little. Oh, here they are. Okay, so that goes here. Let's see what I'm doing. Something else, else, but I don't know, maybe not. Oh, there's coats in there. Let's see what the other coats are. Okay, let's see. Okay, I like this one too. Yeehaw! Cute. Oh, that kind of goes. Skater chick. Shady chick. Yeehaw chick. Like yeehaw. OCD, obsessed with chicken disorder. Hey, buddy. All right. Is that now I grab some. Oh, here this kind of goes, and it's kind of a cool quote. Work hard and be nice. Hmm. That's cute. Love the flock you're with. <laughs> Those are cute, Colleen. These are cute. I haven't played with these in a while. Okay, here's one. Here, what else is in here? Make your oh here, make yourself proud. Little barn. Now these are prima, I think. I think these are prima. And I like these are stickers. I think they're stickers. They should be. Oh. No else. That one's cute. That fits good. Farm fresh. Like that. Oh, there's a little piece of barn fabric. In oh, that. thanks, Star, for posting that. Let's see. Kathy, are your you who sticks real soft or wet? I recently acquired some and they're kind of mushy. Don't know if I have an off badge. Okay, what's the weather like where you are, Brenda? Mine are soft. Mine are a little bit soft, but I think it changes with the weather. And then I also 
what's good about when they're a little soft, you can leave the top off of it while you're working and they kind of dry out. And I've accidentally not put the cap on and the next day they're, they're harder, but they still work. So, but they have been, they are softer. So what I do when they're soft, I just put them up like a little tiny bit as opposed to like normally I usually have it like this. But if they're soft, just bring it down to like here. So just a little bit showing and then it still works. Okay, I gotta remember where the holes are. Yeah, the Yuhu is different. Oh, I've never used the Elmer's Permanent. But you can leave it unopened for a while and it will dry up a little bit if it's too, if it seems too soft. I use I have all different ones. I do like the um, Elmer's too. Yeah, I, I've got different ones also. Let's see. I tend to go back to the Yoohoo, just I kind of like them, but. That's just personal preference. I think it's where you live, honestly. It, it has is a lot to do with you where you have high humidity or not. Low and humidity. then, don't you think, too, it kind of depends on the, the paper? Yeah, the paper, the project. I think it's good to have a couple different brands of glue sticks just for what you're working on. Yes, I agree. Here's this boy. Uh, no. Next time I use this. Ooh. Should be able to glue this piece of fabric down too. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come here. Sydney, come here. Yeah. Come on. Come up there. Stand up. Stand up. Get up. Come on. Get up. Good boy. All right. Oops, I covered up the hole. Here we go. Get down. Get down. Down. No. Oh my God. He can't, you know, my child desk. Yeah. Get his little nose up here. If he uh, <laughs> jumps up, like I'm sitting on a chair that's high, he's like jumped up on my leg and his nose touches the top of this desk now. Oh my gosh. You're not Isn't supposed that... to grow so fast. Nothing he can't get to. <sighs> I think he wants to go up with you. I think he wants to go up with you. No, I'm kidding. When you go, when you're done, he's fine for now. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in and just decorate, like make it, make it a little more fun. Maybe put some polka dots. Let me find like a lime green here. Here we go. Let's see, what can we draw? Um, just do little circles. Make a little, little flowers. So can we have to just draw some little flowers? He may follow you up. Yeah, see if he does. Okay, 
you got here? You get them too. Come here, Ziggy. Come here. There. One thing about labs, they are just food motivated. There you go. Jack went up with Kevin. They just gave him more treats. Where's Jack? Did you shut the door? It's open. Okay. All right. Now. Yeah, so this is where you can really play with your doodling, your disentangling, all that fun stuff. Let's see, use your markers that you never use. <laughs> you can use your everything you don't use. <laughs> no. Okay. Little green circles with pink. Uh, that's too bright. Not like that. Let's see. Oh, here's a pale pink. Here's a pale pink. All right. Perfect. So I need like a little, maybe some gel pen. Oh, I mean, you find these are two sided. That's right. Oh, perfect here. Uh, green, 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 green. Oh, I'm singing. Okay. We have so much in common. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I must be part of that but food motivated. <laughs> yeah, me too, Peggy. <laughs> good boy. You're good. Here. Can you sit? Yeah. So this is, uh, this, I forgot how fun and relaxing this was. Oh, to make a little tiny page? Yeah. Just a little doodling and going, I see. And I get into sometimes like making stuff like really small. Like, see how small I can go sometimes. Now, Colleen, that's your left foot or your right foot? Your left foot, right? Correct? My left. Okay, good. So you'll have no problem driving. Yeah. I can drive now, but it's, it's more or less like... I don't want to be out everywhere with the pin sticking out of my toe. So Oh, and you don't well, you don't want to hit it too. It'd probably be easy to hit while you're driving. You know what I mean? Yeah, just yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I've only gone to like haircut, play like haircuts, um, like consignment, because that's like a little store. Well, that's at least you got out a little bit, you know? Yeah, I was glad. And I think I went to Kroger's one day, but I didn't get like a big load. I just got a few things. Yeah. It. And I let Tom get all the, like, um, he's been doing most of shopping. Like any bigger loads, I have him get. I think it was just something I wanted and I didn't want to wait. So that's nice. Yeah, it felt nice. I was so excited. I was like, I went out. 
Eve, it's just Kroger, so I left the house. And then we had, and then yesterday I sat outside. I really was out last evening too, just enjoying the nice temps, playing ball with the dogs. And oh, that's nice. You know, because you know we've had when on the good days I have been like going outside and and uh, just get some fresh air. Yeah. Yeah, but we've had a lot of rain and cold and, you know, a big mix over the past six weeks. So, now, first I didn't do anything because I, I just couldn't even hardly walk. So, but now I now I can, now I do better with it. All right, so there's that. Hold up. Ooh. There we go. It keeps like moving. I don't know why. Well, it's water. Let me dry it. Okay. Oh, you get to try that, Darlene, like uh, Lisa and uh, Kim did. The pancake maker with some shrinky dink stuff. Oh, you'll fun. Have, you'll have fun with that. I actually got some shrinky dink stuff. I want to do um, I want to do some doodling and shrinky dink, and then some um, like doodling and drawing and doing shrinky dinks with like Robin Marie did that with the florals and it was really cool. And she used it for closure, and I wanted to try that. Now, don't we have some shrinky dinks type of stuff that we from Sizzix? We do. Okay. I don't think it's I like ever a, like, like a mat. Yeah, you know, something. Just, just smush it down and then, like, protect your surface or whatever. Yes. Yeah. This is not working. Good water. Okay. So here we go. Finished page. Ooh. Spread. Mm -hmm. I should find a little. Maybe a pit pen would be better. Something for there. Oh, it's because it's just washy. It's hard to stamp like over the washi and trying to the part where I'm coloring over the washi is not not being nice. Let's try that. Maybe this will work. The pit pen. Cut this out. You can emboss small items with it too. Oh, did you do that? I don't remember seeing you do that. Oh, you can emboss small items with the pancake thing. So it's like a mini griddle. I didn't see that. Yeah, it's like a little mini pancake griddle. Cool. But I didn't, I don't remember her. Did you in Boston and I didn't, I walked out? You did? I wonder if I walked away and then I missed that. I don't remember that. Okay, I'll have to, I'll have to fast forward to your video and look at that. And find the embossing part. Thanks, Lisa. Now, it's in the same video as the other, the iron one. You can do abstract shapes, embossing shapes. Oh, okay. So it's yeah, a bit, okay. Yeah. I'll have to watch further. Okay, I'm gonna keep these. I may need these. Yeah, my iron. I got my iron. It came sun. It came like the next day. Oh, yeah, it was so quick, right? It's so nice. In a okay. little case, I love it. Oh, two okay. different videos. Okay, thanks, Lisa. Oh, that was two different videos. Oh, I feel better then. I, I'm like, okay. Oh, I and that. Laird did the mini pancakes too. I missed that. All right. You miss a lot when you have a giant puppy. Ugh, no kidding. <laughs> Yeah. I know because I kept thinking like well I'll just be able to sit and watch videos 
while he's doing stuff. No. No, because when he's like not doing, I'm doing stuff around my house. This is working out good though. Like Jack's upstairs and Ziggy is down in the bed here. He's like settled down and he's just laying down in the bed and he can't get up the stairs. He can come down. Ah, I see. So, good for now. Yes. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about him going up the stairs and I don't have to worry about him getting into the rest of the basement because I have it blocked off. Perfect. Yeah. So this is nice. All right. And he didn't have a walk, though. I just I went back to sleep this morning, so I'll just make sure, like, next, next time I will just make sure I walk him. Well, actually, next time he goes Monday already for his training. Ah. So I will have a few weeks puppy free but we're gonna miss him and i think jack's gonna miss him i don't know if jack's gonna get it yeah it will be really weird not having him around you know <laughs> even though he's driving you crazy at the same time you're oh him. i know i know and i knew that was gonna happen i mean i'm not i'm really not complaining i just i, I think know, i'm just saying i can understand that though yeah um but probably just the frustrating thing is not being able to come down to my uh, art studio or art room or whatever yeah i can see that being the most frustrating part of it few many pancake makers rarely ever use as gifts several years ago the second i decided to take it someone will want to use it for pancakes <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we have the shrinky dink, the dink shrinky dink stuff. And it has like a smusher, so you can smush them flat, so they don't yeah. curl up, and then you don't have to use them in a you know use an oven. Yeah, we need to. I need to get mine out. I don't think I. I did order mine. You had used yours, and I ordered one, but I don't think I ever. I didn't. I thought um, you had one and used it. I thought we maybe I, did, maybe I did. It was a long time ago. It was, I, yeah, it was. A, well, yeah, it was a long time ago. So yeah, I got some shrinky dink material, and I want to try like try doing like the you know, um, I want to do um because I again on my list to get to is the Tandy Art Watercolor Class, and um, she when she sells some of her little books and things, she does. Um, her Tandy art people on the Shrieky Dig. I saw that. And I was like, oh, I got to try that. You could also trace some of her digitals maybe onto the Shrieky Dig if you don't want to draw it. Mm -hmm. And make some. Let's see. Is there no too bright? Oh, let's see. That's kind of good. Kind of in a dotty mood today, just filling stuff in with dots. Oh, thanks for putting the link in, Peggy. Like, embossing cake. Maker link. Thanks for doing that. Yeah, thanks, you guys. Oh, now here comes Jack again. Okay, be good, Ziggy. Ziggy, no. 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 Give him alone. Give him his space. Uh uh. Give him his space. Give him his space. Hey. All right. Both of you sit. You both sit. Good. 
Yeah, it's a scary growl. Oh, and that you know what? That's their play growl. That's wow. their play growl. See, that's yeah. crazy. It's a scary growl because I have little dogs. I'm like, ew. Ziggy, sit. Jack has a deep voice. Yeah, Jack has a deep. He has he has a deep voice. Kevin says. Yes. That is scary. I was, I was like, woo. I wouldn't want to get in between the two. I know. That's, he'll bark at people and then they'll cross the street. Yeah. He's scared, but he's just like, hi, 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 come see me. But he sounds, he sounds like really mean. Ferocious. Yes. Just good keeps people away, but then right, man. Yeah, keeps people away. That's a good thing. Yeah, but he that but what you may want to think twice. <laughs> we playing, and he wouldn't have come down here if it wasn't okay to do that because he'll just go in the other room when uh when Ziggy starts. Okay, that's it. No more. Sit, sit, sit. Okay, these are the last ones. Right. Let's see. Got an egg bite maker at the Value Village. Wonder if that would work. Oh, I might. I might. I would like an egg bite maker. I love egg bites. Never I've never heard of an egg bite. They have them at um. Who has them? Starbucks. They're like little little egg like little mini egg puffs you can get it like either with cheese or with ham or something huh. but um i tried some frozen ones oh they're horrible um but i'd make my own if they had a little maker because then you could just put whatever whatever you wanted in there or like an omelet yeah like an omelet but it's bite like a bite-sized omelet ah I don't like those either, but I know what they are. You don't like omelets? Like, no. It's just nasty. eggs. Yeah, I don't, I'm not a big fan of eggs. Oh, oh. well, never mind. <laughs> uh, you know what I don't like about eggs? I don't what? like I don't like the white. I don't like the yolk. No, or the what is it? The white part. Now do you like scrambled eggs? Yeah, if I and if they're if they're really flavored with a ton of bacon grease and I pick out the white part. I don't like the white. So you the could make. Bacon I like the yellow grease. part, but the white one makes me gag. Okay, you could make bacon grease egg bites. Bacon grease. Mm. <laughs> All right, I like it. That would work. Okay, sorry, I keep coming out of here. I need to adjust my camera again. So I took, I unplugged my cameras yesterday, you know, to put these little gate things up, and it seems like everything came back okay. Good. Just the positioning I need to work on. All right, so there, let's see if I can find a little quote. See, just putting those little dots, like, finishes it off. Oh, big things have small, be or big things have small beginnings. Okay, so now this is done. Oh, mu mini muffin tins. You could use those to make them with. Okay. Oh, mini muffin tin. I don't know what guru, guru and bacon is. It's guru. Oh, gruyere. Gruyere? Gruyere cheese. Oh, the white cheese from Switzerland. Ah, oh, well, that explains why I don't know what that is. And we actually, because you know, we live there. Yeah, there's a town called Gruyere where all the Gruyere cheese is made, and you can go visit where they make the cheese. And there's a big castle. Oh, neat! And it's so good. It's it, really good. What could you compare the cheese to, flavor-wise? Um. Okay, it's a little, it's drier than Swiss and saltier. Okay. But otherwise, I would put it in that family. It's not, okay. not a strong cheese. 
it's I really like it. And you can get Gruyere cheese here. They have Gruyere cheese in the store. They do? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe like a Gouda. Maybe a specialty store. Yeah. Kroger's has it. Oh, they do? What, in that specialty area? Like the um, yeah, look where, like, their cheddar, like, their bricks of cheese are, like, the cheddar and stuff like that. Like, the handmade stuff. Yeah. It's good. It's a mild, it's a mild cheese. It's like what they, I think they use Gruyere a lot in fondue. Oh, um, with like a wet sponge. They do. They're gross. The frozen ones, <laughs> the ones. Separates the yolk from the white and uses the white only. Well, the white is the healthy part. I okay, know so that you much. You could take the white out, Colleen. She likes the white. The I yeah, I that's true. If I went back and forth, I got rid of the white part. I like the yellow and not the white. So you could do that. Right. Okay, there's another one done. These are just fun. Yeah, brie is soft with the rind. I like. I like. I really like cheese. Now, do you like cheese, Colleen? I love cheese. Yes, but I don't okay. know if I would like that cheese. I love normal, like regular cheese, cheddar cheese. Okay, so it's mild. You might. You might like it. Um, just if you like cheese, you might like it. It's not like a strong, icky cheese. Because I like cheese, but I don't like really strong cheeses. Yeah, I like the, uh, what is that blue one? That one's pretty. Oh, although blue, I do love blue cheese. Blue cheese is pretty tart. Um, there, now there's different one, like some blue cheeses I like. Okay. I'm gonna take the pop dot off. Let's see. Let's use these eggs without the pop darts because maybe we we'll book too fluffy. Oh, they Star said they sell a vegan gouda at Amazon. Oh, that's good to know. I haven't tried many vegan cheeses, and unfortunately, the ones I've tried I didn't really care for. Hmm. But I should I didn't, know, I didn't know they made vegan cheeses. Yeah. Wow. Okay, let's see. I like this. Add some eggs. I found the eggs in there. Okay, I'm going to do this. Oh, that's really cute. That was a good idea to use the, that's the washi tape, right? Yeah. Except for the hole punching sort of weird with the washi because um, yeah. it's, oh, it it's, sticks. It's, sticks inside the hole. One of the two fat ladies. I do like a stinky cheese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so here's this is a good question. Hey, Colleen, are your kids picky eaters? My oldest used to be horribly picky, horribly picky. Wouldn't try regular. I'm like, I make regular food. I don't make all the weird food my mother made that I was forced to eat and puke up. So literally, oh, I puked because, yeah, I just didn't like any of it. But anyway, so right, I eat regular food. She refused to eat regular food. And in high school. She ate pat still in high school, was eating Slim Jims, fruit snacks, chips, cheese. Like that's all she ate for like four years. Oh my and God. then and then the her is it her senior year? She met this boy, right? And he liked to cook. And so then she wanted to pretend like she liked eating and cooking. So then she's like over there and her trying to. And then she wanted to look normal. So she started eating, trying different foods at his house. So he wouldn't think she was weird because of what they're eating. And then she started trying different foods and she liked it. 
And then when she started uh, dating uh, her husband now, he would get mad at her. She wouldn't try new foods. And then now she eats everything, everything. I mean, stuff I would never eat and would have never put on my table. Oh, so wow. like, she eats everything. Now, my oldest, I think, is in between where I'm very picky. My oldest eats everything now. And I think she's in the middle. She eats more than me, but not as much as as Katie. Okay. Like she likes sushi. Blah. Oh, I love sushi. Yeah. Oh, those melon. Yeah. Raw fish croaks. Yeah. So like, you know, so I think it's funny when I so I never um yeah, I never made her eat anything. Uh, as long as she ate and never forced her to eat stuff, my parents forced me to, so that didn't go too well. See, that's and, probably the difference right there. Yes, yeah, and my parents were like, "You," and I'm like, "Don't tell me how to parent my child. I eat none of this stuff because if you are forcing me to eat adult food as a child, and I did not eat it, and I would throw it up and get in trouble for throwing it up. I'm like, and I would get spanked." I'm like, I would never do that with my kids. I'm like, you all screwed up. Do not tell me how to raise my kid. I'm going to do the opposite of what you did. As long as she's eating and she's feeling good and healthy, I'm not going to make her eat anything. And I certainly will not spank her for not eating anything. Yeah. And I said, and my kids are great now. Like, I mean, she, my picky eater, eats everything. Oh, that's good. That's because you never, that's because you never knew she was a picky eater because I never forced her to. She right. she didn't make her eat stuff, so she was open to trying it. Exactly. And you know, what better way to be open to try it than a boyfriend? I mean, you know, it's like, ooh. So yeah, so that's like you tried your parenting skills and you failed. So N O no and butt out. And then they would shut up about it. They'd just be like, nope, butt out. Nope. I will not do that to my kids. And, like, we would eat turkey, like, for Thanksgiving. And Katie uh -huh. would eat hot dogs instead of turkey. And she would peel the skin off the hot off dog. The hot dog. <laughs> and she didn't like the skin. And ate hot dogs that were with no skin. And then she didn't like bread or buns. So then she would like stab them with stick pretzels and eat stick pretzels and hot dogs with no skins. That was like one of her prime foods. Oh, no. Yeah. And I was like, oh, well. <laughs> I was like, at least it's protein. So, you know me, I don't eat much protein. So, like, yeah. So that was one of her like favorite foods and everyone was like, anyone to be over would be so grossed out when she's peeling the skin off the hot dog. I'm like, I know it's just let her eat it. Yeah. No, as that's the best thing to do. As long as she's eating, that's all I care about because you all aren't eating it. So don't worry about it. Um. Okay. Here's my two puppies. Giant. Oh, Jack still looks giant next to the puppy. Jack's there's Jack, and then the puppy's up here. They're sleeping. Although Jack just woke up, Kevin went out the back. Yeah, Brenda, that's exactly what I would have. Yeah, that that was my life. Oh, they're cute. Okay. All right. And then you, it, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, exactly. I think four scenes, of, um, that's my personal, that's from my experience as a child and then my experience of raising kids. So it just, it, and it's like, she eats everything now. She eats at all these fancy restaurants and she's like, I'm eating blah, 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 you know, cause, and I'm like, what is that? What is that? I don't know what this is. Like, are you like, where is my daughter? <laughs> she tries everything and she she's telling me she eats this and that and I have to Google it to see what she's eating and then I'm like yeah so again she eats everything now because I never made her eat it what she just That's had good. to eat yeah so I was really proud of myself I undid I did not you know make the bad parenting forward I ended it 
And then, uh, yeah. And that's how that goes. It it like, is, he, it's fun to see how it's grown. I'm sorry. Go ahead. He has grown a lot. But, I mean, like, I can't believe how much. But he's still not near as big as Jack yet. So No, we'll figure Jack is. Jack weighs about 90 pounds. And Ziggy was 32 when I took him to the vet. So he's like a third of the weight. So I mean, he's like, I'd say he's a third of the size of Jack. That seems right. Um, and it is cute because like Jack, like you heard him growling and stuff like that. Scared me. <laughs> come and let Ziggy like play with him like that unless he wants to. So that's how I know. I mean, he's not. It sounds mean. It sounds horrible, actually, but they're playing. So it's kind of cute because sometimes like Ziggy will be laying down and Jack comes up to him. I'm like, oh, can you just leave him alone? Yeah, they need to sleep at the same time and they need to play at the same time. And yeah, like get on like, a, you know, same schedule like easier for you. They are. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Right now is probably because at first, like Ziggy just wanted to um, sleep all the time, which was good because Jack's old. It's yeah. just now it's a little tricky because Ziggy just well, wants to play all the time. He's growing, so then he's gonna, you know, he's gonna crash, right? Yeah. Like, so he <laughs> sleeps a little less, but when he's awake, he's more active. But then that should change. That'll change when he comes back. I out. like my little pages. They're cute. I love those. Those are cute. This is just using uh, a piece of fabric that was laying in there. Some little kit stuff for a Prima kit. Random eggs from and try to stamp. And eh, the stamp's okay. And then I love, I like all that. And I made this into a sign. Our farm. Now here's, I was thinking another thing would be fun to do is to take... An image like this, but this is a book I got from CB. I miss CB. I know. How um, has anybody seen CB? I know um, she'd been busy with her husband, so I just I had sent her a message, but I haven't heard back. So if I could run Devin. image two pages. Oh, but see, now that face, though, Colleen, you could cut, would fit, probably fit on the the composition book. Just the yeah, face. Oh, oh, yeah, that's a, yeah, you're right. Definitely. Let's see. Let me see. Yeah, you're right. Like, that face would fit in here. Yeah. That'd be more, yeah. Like have, well, yeah, I have that one ear on. You have the one ear. I'll tear them out and I'll tuck them in there. Oh, I forgot this has little perforated edges too. That makes it easy. Welcome back, Devin. That yeah, he cool. would fit nicely. Okay, I'll put that there. I'm trying to find some. This was a smaller scene. This might work. Oh, that would fit on a two page spread. So let's try that. That's the back of that one. So I'll try to get this cow on here like this. And trace it. Maybe that. Much. All right. Put this here. Put this here. Okay. I'm going to do like a little tracy. Okay. Ugh, stay. Ah, oh, Colleen, keep it. There we go, like this. We'll line it up. That way it's more complicated than it needs to be. Okay, hold on to that. Okay, now I'm gonna trace down the middle. So I'm gonna need a little bit of a, a line there. Let's try that. We had to eat or sat at the table until we, oh, I did that. Oh, yeah, I sat at the table all night and didn't eat. Oh, yeah. There's no one more stubborn than me, except maybe Tom's dad. My dad's pretty stubborn. That's where I get to stay. Oh, I just sit there all night and I'd sleep at the table. 
Oh no. Yeah, I just fall asleep to table. It's like I'd rather sleep at the table all night than eat that stuff that make me sick. So yeah. They after years of that crap, they finally quit. But then I also wised up and then when they would leave the room to go to the bathroom or whatever, I get up and I throw my food in the garbage. And then I'd hide it and I throw hide it too. They're hiding it. They kept finding my food and toy box and everything else. I was hiding my food, throwing it away in the garbage, hiding it. And then they, they were like, okay, we give up. Nothing's working. I'm like, you think? Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Girls got to do what a girl's got to do. Oh, you got it. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, we've that. all done that kind of stuff. I did no that, Lisa, too. I'd flush it down the toilet. Yep, you flush it down the toilet, throw it in a garbage can, stick it in a toy box. Or if my dog was around, I'd feed it to my dog. I'd oh, that, you were lucky you had a dog. Oh, I had a German Shepherd. He ate everything. Oh, nice. And so, like, you know, after a point, like, I got tired of sleeping at the table or getting spanked or throwing up. So, yeah, I got wise and found other ways to not eat. <laughs> and one was dog, toilet, garbage cans, toy boxes, outside, whatever. A dog would come over and, because um, my dad would be falling asleep on the couch. I call a dog over. Gone. Oh, are you feeling better, Tepid? Is your cold all gone? Oops. Let's cut that. Okay, I'm going to cut this edge. Hey, Devin, okay. do you have any plans for your uh, speaking of doors like we were earlier? Do you have any plans for your um, the door pictures that you took? I'll cut this one. I thought they were really cool. Oh, still coughing. Yeah, there was something um, going around here. My son had that. <laughs> I liked that, Lisa. She must have done that too. Sink in the bathroom to flush it. I wonder why a toilet don't flush. <laughs> it's all clogged with food. <laughs> I think everybody's done that, though, because, I mean, there's always one thing that you don't like. Yeah, exactly. You know, and then, and yeah. I remember, like, sneaking it in my napkin or... And it's oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, wrap it in your napkin, throw it away. You had to hide it. I mean, because my dogs were not too, like, crazy about vegetables, you know what I mean? So they could they'd eat the nasty pork chops and stuff, like, take out the bone and eat that. But, like, yeah. Uh, it was, uh, what, what's the uh the country song a country girl will survive that's how i survived <laughs> <laughs> too funny oh, oh, you did, did you all have to do that in school too mm -hmm. in elementary mm -hmm. where you were forced to eat everything on your plate like we had that in elementary too and um Oh, I used to come home for lunch in elementary school. I went to Catholic school, so we could either stay for, like, bring our own lunch or go home. You did this wrong. And I lived but, close enough where I used to go home for lunch. And I always wanted to stay for lunch. Okay, it goes here. Well, what I did was um, I just stuck my food in my milk carton. They would, you know, I'm not going to eat peas and stuff. But it's like you're, you weren't allowed to leave the cafeteria unless you ate. So then, like, I just threw food in my milk carton. All the oh, kids there did. You go. And I wasn't the only one sticking peas in my milk carton. Like, gross. Yeah, I'd, fill up, I'd drink my milk first thing and then fill it up with food. And then, of course, the napkin hideage. And then if there's some kid that actually ate this crap, he'd be like, oh, God, please eat this. You know, that's the kind of stuff that, like, does not go on nowadays. There would be no making you kid eat. 
Oh my God, nobody could do that. Oh, here, this might go. Yeah, like nowadays you could not get by with that crap. Because people's allergies and whatnot, you know what I mean? Making a kid eat everything that's on a plate that, you know? Oh my God, you can't make, you can't make kids do anything. Like, that should have been illegal. Okay, this will go. I've got pink paints. Pink paint tubes, and I'll do my pink girl. And these these words, Colleen, are just the right size to go over the uh, to go over the dates. I love that. Now that's going to be too big for the. Is that too big for the binder? But what I'm going to do here, it'll be like this big. Hold on. So I'll put it here. So I have that in the corner. It's just. You see up here this big and i'll just trim that off okay because i know and i did this when um i did over oh, which one was it well the other one i did manage to put it in there oh this one but like it's bigger than the other pages oh okay i just oh just trim it so i could trim like maybe the bottom i don't want to lose so her, fun, her fun hair um yeah so, yeah, that's but, why I'm gluing them so I know where to so I know where to put it and then I can know where to put the holes. See, I just do that. Here. There. Oh, your grandmother was really uh, picky and it was unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> well, I oh, did. I know what I wanted to ask. I didn't what what did Tim Holtz do on Saturday? I watched it. He was doing his new dyes that came out. He has new dyes and new stamps. Anything interesting? Um, I think some of the, the they're miniatures of the old dyes. Like oh, the, okay, so nothing totally new. Like I think the neatest one was the um, the viewfinder reels die. I, I love was, those. So he had that. That was probably the neatest one he had. And uh, but he did not show his stamps. All of the stamps are for sale at uh, different stores. So, okay, so he was just basically showing. He probably do the stamps next week. He did the dies and didn't show the stamps. I'm interested in the stamps. I'm not interested in the dies. As I hardly die cut stuff. But I would say the um, I am interested in the. It's a two. It's flower stamps. So I have those in my cart. So um, think about getting them. Sabres Anonymous has them. And you get free shipping there. Um, what? Oh, I would be interested in the viewfinder die. Yeah, he had the viewfinder die. They had the stamps. It's Stampers Anonymous. And then you get free shipping. So which is always my favorite. Yes. And um, so I have the two flower stamps in my cart. So... And then there's a couple other Dina Wakely ones that I would like to get. But, okay, so look at that. So there, I had to cut this. I cut that crooked and make that one smaller. Well, that but, worked good. But, like, if you cut it straight, which I did not, but, like, you literally have the whole thing is already like, covered with the cow picture. So now you could go in there and, and doodle or write or add little stickers or whatever. Yeah. It's called done. So you can just use a large image to run across. So I've gone that when I skip. So oh, and I could go back too and add some stitching on here. I could put like some X's or like a uh, X's or sewing or whatever. But that is one option. I like that option. Just one. Okay, big then I don't have to watch the video because then I can just go order them on Stampers Anonymous. Yeah, you can watch them. And they have the stamps. You don't have to wait for him to demo those. I love that cow page. It's like, are you looking at me? What you looking at? The old cart and stuffing backfired on me. We had hamburgers one day. <laughs> they were pinkish and sweet tasting. I drank my milk. Put the meat in the carton and ate the bun. The monitor picked up the carton and shook it. Oh, probably because it turned pink. <laughs> oh, oh no, she probably did see you stuff it in the carton. Went back to the class and threw up later. Exactly. Ugh. 
Gross. Oh, she made you eat it? Oh, see, that kind of stuff would not, would not happen gross. nowadays. That would not happen nowadays. Ew, it's horse meat. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Would, yeah. Luckily, there are lots of rules and you can't do this stuff anymore. Okay, Colleen, um, I got this one to fit in. See? I just trimmed it here and down here. Oh, yeah. She's got a cow farm, Brenda does. She meant, oh. Uh, she said that her husband could do like a ledger and, uh, you know, write stuff down. And then later on, someone would find that the stuff and think that was really neat. She mentioned that a while back in the day of a cow farm. Choose happiness. I like that. And then the other is a piece of washi tape on the other side. And then a quote on top of the, um, the, yeah, quote on top of the date. That was, that's one of those stickers. I love that. I love the almanac. What a great way to use the almanac. And these are actually, it's two pieces of was washi tape. I had washi tape that has scissors, so I just cut it out. Or no, that's a sticker. And I just put the sticker on top of the washi. Okay. See, I, thought, I didn't think about cutting it down or covering up the date with a word. And yeah. Then, that's a good idea. Oh, thank you, Pecky. Did you see that? Code Stamper Can 24 at Stampers Anonymous. Oh, the craft show. Oh, good. The 421. I'm going to write that down. I have uh, those two stamps and, so, and two Dinas in my cart. Oh, thank you. Stamper Con with a capital C. Capital S 24. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, it's the way it should be. Exactly. Yeah. Should not force that crap. All right. Ooh, oh, okay. what also might be fun is take one of like the art foamies, like that Klimp stamp, and just stamp the whole thing on there and then color it. Yeah. Oh, that's a funny image. Where'd you get the that one? That's fun. The little Which one? with the fat lady. Uh, where did the fat lady go? This one? Yeah. <laughs> she was, I think she was in. I think it was a jewelry ad because she's got jewelry in her on her head, but I did not glue those on. Oh wait, maybe I did I glue that? No, I didn't glue these on. So it must have been like a jewelry ad. <laughs> I like it. And then I just added the watch. She's fun. Mm -hmm. She's on the go. She's going places. Looks like she's driving a car. To me, when oh, I glance does, at it, there's her look at yeah, it's like she's, she's driving a car, she's heading to the local craft store. So, <laughs> I need some stamps. I need some stamps. I'm going to Stampers Anonymous. Okay. <laughs> I like that a little bit smaller. That it's a little bit bigger. That's okay. This one's a little smaller, too. So, that's all right. Tritan's a junk journal. Okay, so this says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. That's too big. So I think I'm just going to cut out, do something today and put it on there. Oh, good idea. That way. We were allowed peanut butter and jam back in school day. Yeah, there's a lot of kids allergic to that. I hated peanut butter and jam sandwich, so... I don't like if I ate if I ate anything if I was desperate at home with no food in the house I would eat peanut butter sandwich but I I literally I could eat it but I didn't like it you know what I mean it's one of those things where I could eat it but I did not enjoy it it was just simply food and my kids um my oldest hates peanut butter my youngest will uh, she don't mind peanut butter. But there's so many kids with peanut allergies now. Oh, here we go. I got it. This will be perfect. Oh, 
Ugh, yeah, yeah. Jack likes his peanut butter. Oh Ew. my gosh. Do you? And you know, I'm one of my, uh, one of my dogs likes it, and one does not. That's funny. Because as soon as, like, when I was, when I knew Ziggy was coming down, I got the Kong, and I, all I did was take the, the lid off the peanut butter, and he was sleeping upstairs. He was immediately downstairs. <laughs> I <laughs> All right, you can move, because he's been moving slowly, and Doug's like, oh, my God, that's the fastest I've seen him move in ages. <laughs> I know. I know. Just, you know, I try to like sometimes because I like a scoop of peanut butter and sometimes like I'll try, I'll want to get a scoop, but then I don't want to give him some because I don't want him to eat too much. I like, I'm so quiet. I like open the refrigerator. I don't even take it out of the refrigerator. I, you know, quietly open it and I turn and he's right there. So their, um, their sense of smell is so good. Okay, here we go. Do something today. Some of these already have quotes on them. You want to, yeah, if you use the ones that have quotes on them already. Oh, I like where they did the flowers on the dictionary paper. Ooh. Um, yeah, some of these already are finished with, with a quote. You can just literally stick them in like that. I like that up here. Let's see if I can get this off. Now, you could also do, if you have a bunch of ATCs, these are a little smaller, but you could probably cut up some of your ATCs that you've made and use that. Oh, that would work. You know, if you have a bunch of ATCs and you're like, you know, I mean, let's say you made too many or whatever, <laughs> you could you could totally do that. Also, it was pulled out like all this like handmade paper scraps from Blix, like. It's going to be kind of fun to use in here. Oh, I might use the whole quote. Let me see. And I have some, and I found my Brooke face stickers. Oh, and I found, this is a pack I got from Brooke with a bunch of little stuff in it. I was going to pull that out, too. Like, there's, see the little letters and stuff? Here, I'm going to see, do something today. This will fit now. If I put do something today up here and that over here. All right. Let's see. Let's see how this goes. Brooke's face there. Brooke's face. That's Brooke's face. <laughs> Hey, Brooke was in the path of the total eclipse. She posted. She was. A she, had oh. a, she had a great picture. Yeah, it was really dark. Yeah, you can see that she was in the path. I'll put Brooke's little Brooke's girl here. Sorry, got some paint on that side, and then I need something that matches it on the other side. Let's see. There's another. There. Like a gray or black or. Oh my gosh! With that sticker there, it makes it look like she has no clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Do you something today that her. your future self will thank you for. <laughs> she just looks like she's indecent. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. I just don't look like she's naked. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Been more perfect than he didn't even plan it. I know. Oh my god, she's the streaker. Yep. That's what they call the streak. <laughs> see, I love how see I love how these are turning out now. Yeah, this I uh what is this? I did oh someone gave it what well, someone gave it to me. It's like a pocket thing in here. Oh my memory. Oh, and so you could take like if you just wanted to keep that part, not in this one, is it too too you could use Frisa's art in here? Oh, that would work. Now you could cut this out and put Teresa's art in your put book. Teresa's art right in there. Oh, yeah. that'd be perfect. I'm gonna keep that with it. See, this is I love this kind of stuff. Yeah, if you rummage through your 
stuff, you'd be like, oh, I'm going to look at Dee Dee's stuff she gave me. And I give all that stuff Dee Dee gave me. I, can, I threw in here. Oh, yeah, that's right. The Dee Dee stuff. Little, little doodads. Let's see if I can come up with something over here. I have, I like Brooks Girl. I wouldn't mind putting her there. Let's see what's in here. What's in here? This is the example. Oh, like that. That was in there. Look. Oh, perfect. I might even do like Ooh. that. Let's see. Oh, I like that. What does it look like behind it? You could almost make that its own page. Yeah, like. Like put her, put the face underneath those roses for a second. Oh. Uh, no, I think she's, that's too solid. That's not a bad idea. But yeah, that's I could go. Cool. That could go there. I like and that. What else is in here? Let's see something goes with it. Uh, tissue. That's too colorful. Oh, napkin. Get your napkins out. There it oh, is in here. Y'all yep. got a million napkins. No. no. Oh, there's this. She gave me, let's see. See if you had something behind it. Like, whoop, whoop. She's part of her face. She's too pretty to cover up, but. Oh, that's cool. See, make, but is it clear? Just punch holes in it and have that be a card. Like, just have oh. that in there. Oh, duh. Thank you. Don't that would be me. cool. Let's do that. <laughs> Brenda, there's another sign for me. Do something today. <laughs> it's, a, a streak. it's what they call it, the streak. <laughs> I love that song. Another ear. It's another earworm for you guys. Oh, that's right. We haven't We haven't had an earworm in a while. Yeah, earlier I was thinking of the Devin song. Now I get this earworm. See, now I could sit and do this for hours. Like once I pick this kind of stuff up, I could just sit and like keep doing this all day. Well, this is like doing the Rolodex, really. It's like it's yes. the same as like doing the Rolodex, except you're doing it in a book. You know, you're using your little bits and and whatnot. So, ha, huh, aren't you clever? And now I can put, and the cool thing is, if you put things in here and then you change your mind, oh, I'll put, I'll put it here, and then you can switch it, open your binder up, switch it. This is the advantage of the binder versus the other. I'll put it there for now. All right. Thank you, Dee Dee. That was cool. Let's see what else I got. Mm, what else did she give me? Oh, that might be cool. She might be listening to some CDs. She's jamming. We've had some couple earworms today. Oh, she gave, oh, this. She gave me this. Look. Oh, I see. Now, again, that could just be stuck in there with holes. And that becomes like a junk journal. Yeah. OMG. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to make put this in here. This boardwalk thing will be like, it's out becoming a junk journal binder. Oh, oh my gosh. Excuse me. I'm going to put this in here. This is from Dee Dee. It's an old Monopoly card. Okay. Ah, look at that. Here's a, speaking of napkins, here's a napkin from Brooke. Oh, look at it. It is blue on this other page. Perfect. Oh, now I need a bunch of Monopoly cards. How stinking cute is this? You could just have a little Monopoly binder. OMG. I need an old Monopoly. And That's I want a gold. I don't want new. I like that it's all like. Like worn. and Worn and well played. And it looks like cute that looks across from that little with the just blue uh -huh. on it. Oh it my god! It really brings the blue out in that on that other page. It does. Oh man, I need Monopoly cards. Who's got Monopoly cards? They want to sell me, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, do you got any Monopoly cards? You can sell me. Need some. I need some Monopoly cards. Oh my gosh! Pressure trouble. Oh. 
stuff. Okay, there's words. Oh, yeah, she gave me the Timmy people. Let's see if they spit. I knew I'd use I was so excited when I won her little doodads because I think when someone get I knew she gave me that too. So if you like it's someone else's stuff, I don't know. It needs more fun. It is because it's new. It's, it's yeah. new. It's someone else's. Yes, please look for me. Thank you, Lisa. I would love if you could sell me some old Monopoly cards. It's So even if you took her, I was talking too loud. I keep hearing echo. If you used her and you like did her part way off of this card, that would be I'll cute. Do, like just the top. I'll do it on the back because that looks good there. Like here. Oh yes. And then just trim her. Like take the card out, glue yeah. her on, and then just trim her. It just trim at the bottom. Or I do him, because he's got a lot of color. Or I do back to the girl. I just usually art with girls most of the time. Okay, put her. Can you put her over more towards I the other? I can put side? her here, and just but she'll have holes in her face. <laughs> no, now move her. Okay, right there. Right there, and then she just have a hole here. And, yeah, then just trim here. her there, and then her little bow sticks out the top. Oh. <sighs> Cute. Oh, she's cute. cute. Oh, I love this. I love her. I have those. One day we were all gone. Our kids will be clearing our craft room and think, what the heck were they doing? Right? They are so they, will. Are they crazy making these <laughs> gluing <laughs> stuff into books? <laughs> what is wrong with her? Charlene said, mine already call my craft room a hoarder's paradise. Hoarder's <laughs> <laughs> paradise. See, this is the this is the stuff that you can't plan. This is the right. just just get off your keister is is a uh, Dee Dee says and start just to start do doing something. And then like I have all these little miscellaneous do dads from Dee Dee and I threw it in this little container. I was like, I'll I'll keep them together so I can remember to use these and they're perfect. Because she would never who would have thought I happened to see the mini book thing and then she happened to send me this. I just love what is it, surf serpentipity? Uh-huh. Love it. Well, and then just the fact you posted that video. Yeah, I was saw was that. And I was so like, fun. I was like, "Oh, her little book is cute," and then I was like, "I worked in our little binders." I mean, because it's a reminder to go back and work on all the projects I've started and not completed. Okay, Colleen, what time do you have to go? I have to leave here. I think about two fifteen. Okay, so how long do you want? Because I'll keep doing this. My puppies. Yeah, I can. Sleeping. I can stay. I can stay till two. Okay. So, okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, we'll time and I'll let the dogs out and that before I go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, we have to drive a little further to this office. It's because he's taking vacation next week. So I'm going to an office I went to ages ago with another physician there. And um, it's really far away. But if I'm not hurt, I don't know how I'm going to feeling if I'm not hurting. Mm -hmm. I would love to go in Trader Joe is next door. I haven't, we don't have one of those up here. Oh, nice. Trader but, Joe's has fun stuff. Uh, it just depends how my toe is feeling. Or right, I can maybe get one of those electric scooters. Do, 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 Okay, look at her on the card. That looks so cute. Who would have thought to put Timmy people on a Monopoly card? Um, adorable and then she looks good with this i'm gonna not do anything to this side it looks great with that fits this monopoly card fits this binder almost perfect. Perfect. it's a little overhang but because that doesn't matter but this this that's wide 
Heck yeah, the cover is way larger than the paper. So you have room, like versus. You can have stuff stick out. Then. The binder, you cannot. Because, I mean, you know, you're a little more restricted. With this one, you have give. See, I have like the two here poking out. Yeah. Okay, that's fun. I'm liking these. Okay, we're going to go back to what I was working on. What was I working on? <laughs> I don't know. Where's Brooks girl? <laughs> I gotta put a hole in this. I gotta go. I'm like, where was I? I get so excited with that. Where was I? Darlene's funny. Her kids say her uh, uh, her mom will never take her or uh, contain her. I think she's speaking at like a nursing home type place. <laughs> Yeah. You know what they should have? I don't know why I thought of this. They should have like. Oh, that's great, Brenda. <laughs> like they should have like homes like for specific likes. Like you could go to a nursing, like you could go to an assisted living place just for like artists and crafters. Yeah. Then you're with Wouldn't your own cool? people. You're with your people. Yeah. You're with people who get you. The, the people that scratch their head when they look at your stuff. Like, I don't get it. Yes. That, that, that is a country song. These my people. It's where it come from. That's <laughs> your own tribe if you're not country. Your own tribe. Oh, that yes, was your own tribe. Okay, that, so I just stuck that little um, the canceled stamp there. I think that looks kind of cool. And did you just do like marks or did, was that a paper with marks? It came with it. This was in Brooks pack. It was a canceled stamp. No, I meant the lines. They paint. Um, that was some kind of paper. I think it came out of a magazine. And I just tore it out and glued it. Because it's too, it's, I don't think it was scrapbook paper. That would, that's a neat idea though, to take in some, uh, put down some gesso or something first because it'll warp. But do you like a, a, you know, just marks with your watercolor like that or whatever. Or even with your Posca. Just go through the marks with your Posca. Crayons. I mean, that, like, that just the, the marks alone just kind of get takes away, takes the, the blank page away. You know what I mean? Peggy. Peggy just said, we can play in our virtual nursing home every Tuesday. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like it. I guess we're together forever on Tuesdays. That's right. I like it. Let's see. Gotta be with my peeps, man. Oh, good. I'm getting, see, now just what I did today, it's getting more, it's getting more full. See? And so, yeah, it is getting more full. And if you decide, like, you know, you don't, you want to work upstairs and not in the basement, it'd be easy to gather, take your book and just, you know, some glue. And, and some that's lights. what I did when I did my little house over the, when did I do it? Whenever I did it over the weekend, I took this and I just took my house book because I already had this thing cut out. And I sat and just uh, did that. It was fun. It, it wouldn't need a lot to take with you. And then you could just take a, just grab a handful of uh, miscellaneous. We all have it. Oh my miscellaneous God. stuff and, and, and take it up with you to a little book. Yeah. Just to get a little basket, put it. Yeah. Cause I've only used stuff from the scraps and from. Well, well, even like this one, which I love. Um, again, I don't know whose these are, but like this little abstract piece, like you could practice your little abstract art in this little book, like little mini abstracts. You could, you could put that down and then practice, yeah, like like you were doing in the bigger book, but smaller. Yeah, and just the page of, next to it. Yeah, to learn exactly. Ooh, maybe okay. Okay, I'm gonna put oh on the other side. Let's see what does she want? Does she need it? This is big. But the gray elephant would kind of match, but I'm gonna lose too much. Let's see. Let me look at what else Dee Dee sent me. 
I kind of like this because I think it's cartoony and she looks like, you know, kind of a yes. little bit cartoony. So I think that those go together. Yeah, those are cute. So she could be, because, you know, we've had several earworms today. So let's, let's do Oh, that. we have little cassettes. Here, it says, let's record this so we could, we could put a song in here. Yeah. So let's make sure that's in the middle. Oh, Marguerite said her Staples has refills for that binder for 39 cents. Oh, my God. 39 cents? So um, you could even buy the papers. Oh, my gosh. Oh, what a relief, right, Ann? Ann just got here. She just finished her taxes. Oh. I'll let you all out in a minute. You have to wait a minute, but I want to leave. 20 minutes. Yeah, they were barking. They, uh, they When they're barking like that, they heard something. They're not wanting to go out. Okay, That's so funny. now I'm having fun, like, looking for stuff that goes with the pictures already in there. So let's try walking their dog. There's terrible people walk their dogs. Terrible. Oh, how dare you. Hashtag me. Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. And it is kind of funny because as you as I walk, you can't hear them a lot from inside. But I you I know which houses have dogs now and which don't. Oh, I can yeah. Usually if it's a big dog, I can hear them. And then the little dogs in the condos, they go always uh, go over to the kitchen, a little kitchen one in the front. They're always barking at us, the little doggies. How much is a doggy in the window? Okay, the, I like those two together. All right, you're not in debt to the IRS. Even better. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, it's like I'm. I'm always thankful for that. I don't, if you get money, great. But I just don't want to be in debt. Yeah. Cute. See, I like this one in here. Oh, where did you got that? That was in here. I use that somewhere. Oh, cute. Little flower. Yeah, just a cute little assortment of stuff. Okay. That's fun. In a clock. I'll use that somewhere. Okay. Um. I need to put some music. And I think I have music stamps. Hold on. Like oh, music, I bet you do. Like music notes. Like little tiny wood ones. Let me I, we can see if I can find them real quick without having to dig. I'm not going to draw them because they are dark. I really like the pictures in the calendar this year. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. This is going to go here. Okay. Let's see. That one's going there. This is so fun. Let's see who makes it. 1998 Stampedius. I use that. What you doing? I hear you. I know there's someone out there probably walking your dog because it's like 65 degrees. I know. I know. We'll go out in a few minutes. Oh, it was it's so nice. Even this morning at five o'clock. I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't need my heavy sweater anymore. Woohoo. Let's see if I can like carry over the Stamp that very well. Oh, there you go. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is a perfect like kitchen table art thing. It is like you could, I mean, this would be like super easy to uh, take on the couch or whatever. Take, or you even know, like to take to a uh, scrappy sheet one day. I mean, you just got to throw in maybe, you know, if you might want it, if you throw in an ink pad, if you got to do stamps, some pens, maybe like some, uh, like the Dina Wakely paints or like the little, just even little tubes. It wouldn't have to be. Yeah. Because they don't take much paint, you know what I mean? All right, give me a song, people. I need a song. What was our favorite song today? What were our songs today? The Streak. Oh, yeah. The Naked Lady. The Naked. The oh, naked or lady. should we do a bare naked lady song? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, for this would be this would be O to uh, Kathy's naked lady. <laughs> see, I just talked to naked man. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done a naked man. <laughs> we don't want to see really that. Bad, we don't want to see that. Yeah, they do want to go out. Thank you. Oh, it's time there. Yeah, he he'll drive me to the place. Oh, nice. Well, it's, it's, he's he's better driving in Ohio than I am. I get well. Plus, angry. you've still got your foot, and I've still got the whole foot pen thing. I have to keep my boot away from my gas pedal. Oh, yeah. I can drive home, maybe. Okay. Well, let's okay. see. Save naked men for Eileen. <laughs> That's right. See, Eileen wasn't here, so I'll wait till she gets back. Hey. <laughs> Everybody oh, loves a good pool boy page. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here I'll put cut this quote out of the little thing CD gave me. It says, My favorite. Okay, my favorite. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Where did she get these? What does it say? It says, "I smell old people." <laughs> oh, those are those are the snark. She must have gotten that from Janet. Snarky things. I smell old people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um. E relax, we're all crazy. It's not a competition. I like yes, that one. Yes, it is. Yeah, this one was my favorite thing for dinner is reservations. Yeah. Um, oh wait, that's you. Oh, I smell old people. Oh wait, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely have no desire to fit in. Amen. Uh, let's see. Uh, I could give up chocolate, but I'm not a quitter. <laughs> These are <been> good ones. <laughs> Those are good ones. My favorite, my favorite song. Well, we're just going to make it up because I have so many favorite songs. I couldn't even tell you. We'll do the... We'll do it. Uh, so we'll remember your page. Call it the streak. What's that? Call, what's actually just called streak? Let me Google it. I don't know. They call it this. Let's see. What is the actual name of the song? I mean, it's like sometimes you know the words, but that's really not what it's called. Right, not the name of the song. Who even? Say, I don't even know who sings it. Song. Okay, it's called the streak. The streak. Okay. Okay. Hey, that makes song. sense. The streak by uh, by Kathy. By Kathy, yeah. Dot dot dot. Kathy. No, that sounds like I'm the one streak. <laughs> <laughs> Naked lady. Naked lady driver. 
She looks like she's driving. All right, here we go. Let me there. go. There, that way I'll remember that. Naked lady driving the streak. Yeah, now we have an ode. Now I, now I, so I could do an ode to my foot later. Ode to the foot. <laughs> yep. Okay, we go back to Straveyard. Okay, let's put the pop these big. Oh, I know what I need to do. I'm going to do like it. I'll do that. Eileen would yell at me. Probably tell me to do this, but she's not here. So I'll, I know I'm hearing her. <laughs> ink, the, ink the edges. Yeah, ink the edges. <laughs> she's an ink the edge person. She would say, ink the edges. I know. I'm going to get off here a few minutes. I told her. We're okay. finishing up. We're doing, we're having fun. All right. Here's another one done. You can do this. Oh, with the, with the guy skiing. And I yeah. like the grungy media background behind that too. Yeah. It kind of, I don't know. I like kind of kinda went. I like tying those together. I like the double page spreads. I think this makes it, a instead of having to try to do a single on this tiny real estate. Yeah, just to kind of keep it flowing. Because it just, I, mean, I went with, because it was kind of red and blue. Oh, and I like that. Yeah, red and blue. So. Okay, I'm going to put this in my book here. All right, so I was going to put it. <laughs> Right Early here. bird special. Peggy moved to a bar for happy hour. <laughs> All right. So that goes here. And then okay. this goes. Yeah, I got it in the right order. Okay. So I was hoping I didn't do it upside down. I was right. Okay. So there's her. Brooks girl. She's singing the streak. Oop, I'm off camera. And then you flip it over. There's my chicken pages. Those turned out good, Colleen. I love that cow. And then we got the cow. He's like, what's up? And then we got the card from Dee Dee. We cool. Genius. He told me to put that in there. Had this in there. We cut it down. And then this is from Dee Dee. And this is from Dee Dee. We incorporated that. Very huh? fun. And then on the front pages were all like all painty fat, painty pages. So it's a variety of, uh, I did all paint on those. Oh, look at that. This is fun. I'm glad I found that video and got, yeah, I'm, I thought, look, that's right. And I think I'm not going to flip through mine because it's other all mixed in, but I think what I'm going to do now, because this is just really getting thick from what I did today. I was just saying, sometimes you got to thin them out. Well, this one has a little more flexibility than the binder, but yeah, you got to thin out your pages yeah. depending on the bulk. This is what came with the book. I don't think, I think you got, and see how you got like, if you get this one, you have room for, um, you have room to like expand. Little room to expand. So, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go through and take out all the blank pages and then finish the pages. I'm going to do this this well, afternoon. You can use that binder. You could get one of these. I know you want to finish that first. Oh, yeah, because I always finish my, my art journals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I must finish before I go on. No, but I think what I'm going to do is take out all the blank pages, and I have a bunch of pages with stuff in it. I'll just, like, finish those. And, and so maybe I will actually finish something. No, I've got to leave one empty. And I liked where you can like, I just, I guess I just inked up this to make it look grungy. Um, and then put that on there, but you can see the, the first page through it. I like so that. I make sure that when I finish this, that it's the back page looks cool showing right. through as the cover, you know, like the back cover, you know what I mean? So that was fun to work on. We did a little bit of everything today. We did. Well, I, it was fun. Thanks for being fun. here. I even ripped, I went through ripping out old art pages, like from my journals that I'm like, eh. And I think I might like repurpose. These was like a mark making class I took forever ago. And these would be good to repurpose into this little book. Okay. You can repurpose into that little book. You know what else you could make? Rolodex cards. Oh my gosh. You can these just are... cut it into a Rolodex card. Yeah, because these, like, this is front and back. 
oh gosh, you could, yeah, you could make that. You could just make some Rolodex cards and fill in your Rolodex. Ooh, maybe not the back of that one, but yeah. Um, so but you could cover it up. I could do a couple of Rolodexes and put some pages yeah. in. Yeah. So oh, that's can, a good idea. Then you don't have to take your paint with you. you if you got any like paint pages that you, yeah, you know what I mean? You could repurpose. Yeah. So I pulled a bunch of those out when I was going through. These are oh, my that's fun. And hey, and Peggy, I'm glad you're it. back. We missed you too. We missed you too, Peggy. You made it in time for my foot quote. So I appreciate that. When <laughs> you and you and Devin throwing them out. Some good. Zoom. I know there were some good ones. I like the dust boot. <laughs> dust boot. All right, everyone have a great day. And I'm going to the doctors and I'm excited this time about it. All hey. right. Bye, yeah. everybody. Thanks for being here. And I think I'm going to just stay here and play while my puppies are still asleep. I would take full advantage of that. All right. See you guys next week and have fun arting. Bye.